Welcome out to the Nerd Effect Podcast, episode number 12. Yes. This is our uh, uber special fun, super happy fun time Halloween special episode. Um, we're going to be talking a uh, zombie survival. But before we get to that point, let's introduce ourselves, shall we? I am one of your super producer, zombie, awesome, killing host, Dustin Vancouver, and I am joined by my other survivalist, Michael Morgan, and Mason Ireland, and... Brains. Nikki Prindle. <laughs> Brains Prindle. Brains Prindle. Nikki Brains Prindle. I like it. Yep. So uh, we're here, and it's uh, a couple of days until we hit uh, hit Halloween. Um, it's Monday night. Halloween's Thursday, so we hope you all get a good listen into this before uh, Halloween night, because Lord knows that's probably if anything's going to happen, that'll be when the zombie apocalypse actually happens. So we hope we can only it offer It has to be stereotypical. You- Absolutely. Bath salts are going to start it, though. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah we can, maybe we can bring that up in discussions. <laughs> Florida, you're fucked up, man. That's all I'm saying. Um, so before we do that, I would like to say let's look at some email. But you know what? No email. I ask people. I try. I get the word out a couple hours before the show starts. I'm giving you time. Maybe I need to do a couple of days in advance. I've been telling people for a couple two of days. days would be good. Probably. I started posting things yesterday. Didn't matter. I would also like to point out that last Thursday was a certain Dustin Van Coor's birthday, and everyone Yay. should wish him a happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Brains, 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 brains. Big, big 3-1 <laughs> as of last Thursday. You're officially old, dude. Old. He's old plus one is yeah. what I decided. Oh, 30's old. old. Plus, oh, I'm old minus one. He's old plus one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, do I feel any older than I did when I was 21? Not really. <laughs> if anything, I'm healthier. Do you act any older? Is the question. Fuck no. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't never act older. That's when no. you give. That's when you give in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We wouldn't be doing this podcast if we felt any older. I don't no, think. Not, probably not. <laughs> Valid point. Um. All right. Well, I would like to read some emails, but we don't have any, so we're just gonna skip right on over to the news. Um. Let's see. Let's bring up our first one here. Let's, Mike. Let's just roll to you. What epic trailer did we see this have come out last week? So, we had Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Um, freaking amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out now. Um, probably put in the notes. Yeah, we'll, we'll have it as a uh, featured video at the bottom of the post. Yeah. So, um, and basically, yeah, I mean, they got some good toys in there. They got... You know, you know, expect Captain America just kicking ass. Um. I do have to, I do have <laughs> to say his new uh, his new outfit in this one is uh, a lot more streamlined. I mean, they, yeah. they didn't go classic cap. It's like a it's like a navy blue with white on it, which is really nice. They kind of leave out the red a little less. Uh, it's great for comics, but I don't know. I think I think the costume they're using in this particular. Sh- yeah, movie is uh, a yeah. little, little I think more it falls friendly. more in line with the rest of uh, Shield. So you know he fits in more with the rest of the Shield agents. Really, they are mm. a lot more I, discreet. I felt it. Yeah. yeah. Also, what may work on a printed page may not work when you when you start having someone move around live action. Mm-hmm. So as, as seen with the X Men. <laughs> yes. Hey, I'm not sure I could. I, I liked the X Men. Well, no, I, I'd love the X Men, but I'm just saying <laughs> the movie, a live action movie based on their actual comic costumes, would just well look comic. I want to see Hugh Jackman <laughs> in the yellow and brown Wolverine costume. I was really disappointed by the lack of magenta on Gambit. Come on, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was say was was Nightcrawler. I'm glad they didn't have him in his in his outfit. Mm-hmm. Because it honestly would have been kind of boring on screen. Compared, it would have been, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I'd say the closest costume they had was Cyclops. I mean, mm-hmm. well, yeah, but his is mostly just a, the iconic visor, mm-hmm. more than whatever else he's wearing. So, yeah. '90s Cyclops with the I need yellow those. belt, shoulder belt, and I do kind of want to see somebody go over in color <laughs> over the frames and make them in their '90s X Men. Oh, yeah, okay, that would be kind of awesome. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might, I might end up doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, Captain America looking total badass. Another, another uh, notch in the belt for Marvel, and yep, another lead in for Avengers two. I'm sure. Oh yeah, and those uh, Thor coming out, and they've already had. 
Iron Man three, so they're definitely leading up we for. Saw that that was so cool. <laughs> yeah, they're def- they're definitely leading up for Avengers two. Of course, they've already said that's happening. So yes, they'll keep making them as long as we keep watching them. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, well, yeah. Side note, um, I don't know, Mason's been egging me on for uh, Arrow and Agents of Shield, so I finally caught up with those. Bastard! Now I'm hooked. They're good, aren't they? <laughs> they're amazingly good. Love them. I have not seen Agents of Shield yet or Arrow. You should. So I. I know I want to. I know Arrow has John Barrowman in it. In the first season. But um, I watched the first one and a half episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I only get control over the remote on the weekends when Angela's asleep, so <laughs> I have to wait to catch up. <laughs> There's been a lot of sports happening this week in my house. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Except for uh, the World Series. No. No, I'm, okay, I'm down with the World Series. I, yeah. I actually, I okay, I have to say, I enjoy playing baseball, and I enjoy enjoy going to baseball games. That's why I like the Red Sox, is I've been to their games, because my family lives in Boston. So I have, a, I have a bet with a coworker that I get coffee if they win. Oh, nice. But he gets coffee if they lose, so yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> but... Like that, like I'm, I'm actually not really a huge fan of any sport on television. Yeah. The, the only one I can really stomach for the major sports on television is hockey. I love hockey. Um, besides that, they're just too slow. Even you know, even football, ba- and I, I just abhor basketball. I cannot stand basketball at all. So live or whatever, I can't play it. Just do not like the sport. But you know, football, it's too slow on television. Baseball is abysmally slow on television. But when you're playing, it's fun. Or when you're at a game, it's fun. And, you know, like, you know, in hockey, I can't skate, so I can't play it. Um, I have a lot of friends that play hockey. Like, they're <laughs> on actual teams. Yeah. Like, women's hockey. They're crazy. It's it, like roller have, derby level of crazy. I was going to say, we have a local roller derby mm. group, too. Yeah, the I had a roommate Treasure that was Valley on Valley Roller Girls. I had a, a, a roommate that was in the B-Town Battalion. She nice. used to show off her bruises. They are insane. Like, certifiably nuts. Yeah. Like, Full mm-hmm. on, just purple, all up and down the side. Yep. Why are we oh, talking yeah. about sports? I'm sorry. Uh, that was my fault. That was your fault. I apologize. Oh, God. All right. Well, we're going to go right into the... Uh, I'm going to get rid of my story first because mine's like... We got three technology stories and mine's the stupid one. Because, <laughs> because uh, the Japanese are weird. <laughs> but uh, apparently, uh, Jap- a, a company uh, called Senti has developed a, a dongle device that plugs into the headphone set jack of your Android or iPhone. And while you, with its companion app, you can use it to set yourself scented reminders. Uh, uh, so essentially, um, it's a little pod, probably about as big as a quarter, a little bit thick. And uh, you stick a little scented thing in it. And then you can set like an alarm on it or something. Like if you have a meeting at twelve, bacon and messages. And then so instead of yeah, uh, I was thinking yeah. maple. I'm, I, I'd be setting my alarm every five minutes for maple bacon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it, it, it comes with bacon. There's several other scents too. Like uh, uh, oh, they know their market. Yeah, <laughs> just bacon. Uh, that's all they need. Coconut, jasmine, apple, corn soup. Corn soup. Yeah, mint, pork. Uh, like not like not like a uh, pork rib. Sorry. Oh, pork ribs? Yeah. I could do that one, too. But still bacon. I mean... you just yeah. end up getting hungry is what would happen. Oops. Yeah. You may yeah. hear some sound. Like, what if you set yourself oh. bacon-scented yeah. reminders to count calories or something like that? Be that would be counterproductive. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, as your phone is laying flat on the table, the little pod is facing up, you set your alarm for whatever, you're like, do 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 and a little LED starts flashing, you can set it to your favorite color, uh, and a little, pfft, like, the little air... Scented, like you plug into your wall or the little battery power. Yeah, like you know, the Glade plug-in, like the Airwick or whatever. Or whatever yeah, yeah. <laughs> Glade and plug-in it, you doesn't see this, have a bacon scent though. It should. They're missing out. I, they are. You just see this little translucent puff go poof, and then, and that's your scented reminder that you have a meeting at noon, and, and that you should go get some bacon first. If you're really hungry, I don't know why you think that's the stupid news because I was I was telling. And about all the news that we were doing, and she thought that yours was the best because it had bacon scents. But it also it. has a. Uh, coffee, strawberry. Okay, well, coffee would, would coffee would also be good. Bacon. Coffee would be a really good alarm scent. Yeah, and bacon, I guess. Mm, bacon see. would be good anything. And so. it will be available now if you can combine the coffee and the bacon together. Oh, so you just get, like a breakfast? breakfast scent. So like, if they could the, do coffee, bacon, and maple syrup, and oh. that would be, I would wake up so fast. To that. Yeah, <laughs> I and freshly baked I would be waffles. depressed every morning though. I wonder <laughs> if they have if they're gonna have an issue with dogs eating cell phones. 
You can also like, ready you, dogs. You can also have it go off anytime you want to. You, there's like a, just an activate button, like right in the middle of the screen. I want to smell bacon. Yeah. Jason's huffing his cell phone. <laughs> but the weird thing is that, that the Japanese commercial that they show along with this report, like, it's crazy. It's just some Japanese girl doing like, like sort of like Japanese style eating of lettuce, and meanwhile the little scented things like putting off pork rib smell so she doesn't feel like she's <laughs> eating just lettuce or so she's more depressed yeah right yeah would so, help anything you're just like why is this not pork but, ribs but uh why aren't these uh, kansas city po- style pork ribs i know yeah yeah cinnamon rolls you got cinnamon rolls up oh rolls. that'd be a good one yeah uh, we had see. a cinnamon roll candle that is the best thing to have your house smell like we went oh. burned through that thing in like three days <laughs> <laughs> i'm not kidding <laughs> It's gone. Uh, so it the unit itself will sell for thirty five bucks. And will be available on Amazon. I think. How much are the refills though? Five dollars. I wonder how long they last. A hundred puffs. That's not really that bad. That's it's not. It's not. The unit's pretty small. So it's, I mean, even just to use as like a sensi, bring it into your, you know, your cubicle, have cinnamon roll scent, just in case that person next to you has chicken soup, and you can't tell if it's bo or chicken soup, and oh. I got a funny email from Dustin once. It was like, I can't tell if somebody has really awesome lunch or if somebody forgot to put on deodorant today. <laughs> oh, it was chicken noodle soup. It was chicken noodle okay. soup. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, if you had like a cinnamon roll scented phone thing that you could set off when that happened, you wouldn't have to worry about it. So anyway, yeah, that's my... Uh... And then they listen to the podcast and they're like, wait, I smell cinnamon. Oh, snap, I forgot my deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a... So it's pretty worthless. If your BO smells like okay. cinnamon, you don't really need that much deodorant. You're okay for the most part. So let me ask you guys, for 35 bucks, worth it? I'm just going to put this out there. I've seen people spend more money on stupider shit. As like a yeah. white elephant gift, mm-hmm. I think it would be great. I would not buy it seriously, but as a white elephant mm-hmm. gift or a gag gift, I think for 35 bucks, that would be that's right around most white elephant gift limits. And it does seem kind of like to me it seems kind of obtrusive to like carry around with you. On a regular basis. I wonder mm. if the, the plug will fold down flat so that you can stick it in your pocket without uh, it being attached to your phone. I don't think so. It looks, that would be smart. I mean, it looks... It was, Well, it's was, it was definitely not something I keep attached to my phone all the time. Yeah. But like if I was just sitting there, you know, doing whatever else with my phone nearby, you know, it would you know probably work quite well as a reminder. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's not, you know, and like... You know, if like if you had it, you could leave it. At, you could like actually leave the reminder like at work or at in a home office or whatever. Seems like it would be a really good novelty thing too. Like yeah, you'd have a lot of people. What is that? Well, let me show you. <laughs> Allow me to open up your nostrils you and, and let me bacon. demonstrate. Bacon. I, yeah, I wonder how long it's going to take them to make a really like offensive smells like burp and fart and puke and. Like it's birdie boss beans. You have a pack where you don't know Somebody if it's bacon third or dog poop. Make it oh, you know or the, it. Or they'll do like they did with the with the Jelly Belly and make like a Harry Potter mix, like oh. two yeah, of the same color. Oh, is that what you just said? Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I was totally listening it's okay. to Mike. No, and... it's fine. It's totally fine. I'm sorry. Still my ideas, please. I still have nightmares of that. What? Elaborate. So I was at work. Uh, the girl that was working there with me that night had a box of the Harry Potter jelly beans mm-hmm. from Jelly Belly. Did you get the earwax so one? Yeah. But, um, At least you didn't get the puke one. <laughs> well, um, basically, uh, I gave her a couple bucks and actually grabbed me a drink because she was getting herself a drink at the store next door. And while she was away, I was like, mm, okay, let's try this one. And really should have waited. As soon as <laughs> yeah. By the time she got back with my drink, I was like, hand me, hand me, go, go. <laughs> get over there. <laughs> I had to get that damn taste out of my mouth. Oh, my God, it was nasty. I feel bad for whoever has to taste test them for accuracy. Oh. It's like, now stick your finger in your ear, and now try this. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Does my fart taste good? <laughs> I'm sorry. I totally said that on the mic. To those who I offended, fuck you. <laughs> fix anything. <laughs> so that, that's the opposite of fixing it, Dustin. <laughs> All right, let's move on to some. Cool he's old plus one. He's crotchety now. It's okay. Oh, okay. Mason. 
Yes. Australia. What the fuck's wrong with those people? Um, the people. <laughs> it's not the people you can It's not the people about. that you have to be worried about. It's everything that freaking lives there. So, um, it has now been confirmed that in Australia and also the Canary Islands and the Caribbean, so this isn't technically just Australia, but it just adds up to Australia's everything there wants to kill us quotient. Um, there has now been confirmed a venomous crustacean. Uh, called uh, it's a a class called a remipede. Uh, they're little centipede-like crustaceans. They live underwater, and it has a venom uh, cocktail that includes paralyzing agents and enzymes to break down proteins into a liquid that it can then drink and digest. Kind of how the same way rattlesnake venom works. And it is a little tiny guy, and. They are, their scientific name is um, Speleonectes uh, tuluminensis. And yeah, they're, they're just little cute, blind, cave-dwelling uh, underwater critters that are related to <clears throat> crustaceans. And out of 70,000 known uh, species of crustaceans. This is the only one that's venomous, and of course, it has to live near Australia. Well, of course. <laughs> if it didn't, we'd all be very so curious. The big question I got: Can it bite you and kill you? Um, they're really small. They probably can't do much to humans. Okay. But just more proof that everything in Australia at least tries to kill humans. <laughs> so we could probably play off a horror movie on this sometime where one of them mutates and gets really oh. big. Yeah. And then, like, Nuclear. Poisonous. Giant Remipede. Oh, Remipede. That's just a, that's hey, a movie title. Remipede right? NATO. Hey, <laughs> si- yeah. hey, so, thank you. Remipede NATO. I was going to say, hey, Sci-Fi Channel, if you're interested in this idea, please contest, contact us at feedback at nerdeffect.com. Royalties will... can be paid, too. Yeah. Here's the checking account. Um. Probably not smart to say that on no, air. No, probably not. Um, we'll set up a PayPal specifically for sci-fi pages yeah. to go through. Too. It's like I'm just waiting for it to tick. It's gonna happen, you guys. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. happen. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, they look fairly. Uh, they look fairly uh, innocent enough. Like they don't totally inconspicuous. It, so just that's how re- they lure you in. They don't. They add, I don't see anywhere in here. Does it say that they? It says they're underwater cave dwelling. But I'm guessing they don't come up on land and stuff like that. No, crabs, they're do. they're a completely aquatic species. Yeah, and uh, the picture it reminded me of a like a centipede that was like the uh, other critters that are always finding caves where they're blind and yeah. they're and they skin to see through and all that. Yeah. So they yeah, can't basically chase like a you if they get like giant that. from nuclear radiation, at least. But then you just thrash around randomly and kill things. That's true. That's true. Smash all the things. Yeah. Yeah. Even Godzilla would be like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> but, all right. Well, stay out of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> at least around Australia. Yeah, things won't kill you. Sharks, venomous crustaceans. Saltwater crocs. Don't they have yeah. like tiny little poisonous jellyfish that swim up your urethras yes. too? Yeah. No, they don't swim up your urethras. They're just in big. There's packs. something that swims up your urethras. Those are actually in the Amazon. Okay. They're little tiny fish, and they will swim up your urine stream into your urethra okay. and then lodge in there. Yeah. No thanks. With spines that face backwards, so when you pee, Mike's it gonna cry. Them to <laughs> As demonstrated in the movie The Rundown, with the yeah. rock. I am never. Going to the Amazon. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> I'm returning my plane tickets. <laughs> okay, now returning to the uh, the credible scientists in Japan who don't develop scented phone reminders. <laughs> uh, Nikki, tell us what Japan has been developing. Okay, well, first little backstory. I don't know if anyone heard. There's an, an, an asteroid that they're calling uh, 2013 TV135. Very nice, fluid. Rolls off the tongue name. Uh, that might hit Earth 19 years from now. There's like a 0.0021% chance. But it's okay. The Japanese are on it. They're all over this because they've invented this space cannon, basically, <laughs> that launches a projectile at asteroids so that they can get underneath the surface and see what they're made of. I think they're hoping to find water, I believe. Uh, it launches a projectile... That is four pounds, I think it said. And it just launches it 
Only at the pounds. asteroid. Hyper velocity. And then, well, it's got explosives in it too. So then the thing that carried it backs up and it explodes. And they're going to collect dust samples. And this is not the detailed article I was hoping it was. Oh, there's a read full article. Yeah, well, I had another one that was better and I can't find it. Um, Basically, they're going to launch it at this asteroid um, and use it to see if there's water, minerals, things like that. Because they're always talking about learning how to mine asteroids. Which I always just thought that this was a... Uh, ooh, mine asteroids. That's kind of what happens in... Uh, dude, that's how Dead Space... Armageddon? Please that's say how, Armageddon. That's how Dead Space started, people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to die or turn into a necromorph. Well, they're going to launch a deep space probe and shoot a cannon at it, an asteroid, fight. and see what happens, basically. It's supposed to be back in 2020, which is ample time to perfect the technology for the asteroid headed towards Earth. So thanks, Japanese people, scientists. Thanks for protecting us. Hope to God you don't fall into the ocean anytime soon. Make because... a bigger cannon, because I think the meteor that we're concerned about is a lot bigger than that one. Yeah, well, I'd, well they just had like a big 7.2 word yeah. earthquake about a week ago. Oh, <laughs> That's another tsunami heading towards Fukushima. Hey. Stay safe, Japan. We love you. A lot of cool shit that comes out of your country. You make the best things. <laughs> I don't know. Samsung comes out of Korea, and I don't think I would uh, trade my TVs for anything. I would say I, I, I would trade back all the Japanese technology for more Samsung. Thanks. Yeah, but they're making space cannons. I'd say that's not cool. Wait, damn. Yeah, space cannons and robots. I'd rather and, not die yeah. from asteroid explosions <laughs> than have a cool TV that's made by Samsung instead of someone else. So that's just me. I'm pretty sure America's solution is just launch a nuke at it. We got 22 years to build a bunker. We're fine. Not 22 years. My math is horribly flawed. It is 2010 in Nikki World. Obviously. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, Wait, I, it's so okay. I'm not it's because it's because I looked at my phone and it says 2010 right there. Oh, okay. Wait, is that when this was written? Oh, no, okay, they're ta- no, they're talking about another asteroid that they collected dust from with the probe that they're using to launch the cannon. It's just really interesting that that's... I didn't even realize that they had a space program and they're yeah. way more advanced than, you know... We don't have a space cannon. No. No, that's no but we got one that will cause uh, nuclear reactions that expel more energy than well, that's they... not productive. Yes, it is. It is, yeah. I know. yeah. <laughs> huh, Mike? Duh. Nuclear fusion is <laughs> incredibly productive. We can get it on a large enough scale that it will actually provide enough power to be useful. Yeah, and then Japan won't have to worry about their freaking nuclear power plants breaking open next time they get an earthquake <laughs> and a tsunami. Cracking open like eggs. Oh, yeah. That's my egg frying in a pan. Because of all the radiation. <laughs> I guess. They sell radiation-proof um, swimsuits now. I saw on the same website that I was reading this article. Uh, I'm assuming uh, that's what they're targeted towards is that area. Going along with smells, side story. Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that some some uh, inventor had re- uh, made a uh, uh, fart-filtering underwear. That's actually really smart. Now that's productive, people. I <laughs> shut up and take my money. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know. I can't remember what I didn't read the exact science. I just saw a quick article on it, and I was like, "Son of a bitch, that's amazing!" And I think I read like the first paragraph, and it's just like it's underwear. So it's, as far as I know, they built it pretty much just around dudes, but obviously, because I mean, not that women fart or anything. No, no, we don't poop either. Oh no, it's true. We just hold it. Oh, forever just, forever <laughs> just absorb it just all women have wormholes in their intestines to oh. another dimension you don't want to go to that dimension it's really crappy oh hey uh but yeah fart filtering underwear I thought that was amazing that's really I don't think it muffles the sound at all but I mean it stifles the smell that's what I the understand. part that I would be concerned about is this I just want to know is where the smell is going <laughs> Like, it's just got to be absorbed into the underwear. I mean, that's the only yeah, option you have. Carbon filter. Charcoal carbon filter type thing, probably. Or yeah, like, that filter mm-hmm. itself has to start smelling eventually. You change filters. It's okay. Or underwear. And underwear gets washed, hopefully. It, yeah. it does, Dustin. Yeah. Just it, it's supposed to <laughs> fairly regularly. So I'd imagine so that helps I could too. technically probably save myself some bucks and just get a... 
yeah, Doctor Souls or whatever. <laughs> <Shoe and Squish>. <laughs> <laughs> Just shove them in your ass. Shove some shoe holes yeah. down your pants, <laughs> and you'll have perfect balance when you sit. You have trouble keeping it in place. Just use a little duct tape. It'll be good. You have to go sit on those Dr. Scholl's measuring pad things. That you, <laughs> <laughs> you got it lined up in a chair for you. Just, uh, you're at size A6. Hey, look at that. <laughs> uh, A55. I see you tend to sit a little to the left. We can correct that. And. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, there's a moth coming at me. Yeah, there's a. Uh, I'm going to call it our studio because I can. And, uh, uh, there's a floth. 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 It is because it's a tiny moth. It's like a fly sized moth. That's, oh, okay. That's acceptable. Well, yeah, I was uh, inadvertently right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> totally acceptable. Yeah, so if you hear a sudden clap sound at home, folks, you know what happened. If there's a squeal and a clatter, that would be me running out the door and forgetting to take my headphones off first. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I and that's when I stop the podcast real quick and insert uh, technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. No, uh, anybody? 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 I saw uh, nobody has responded yet. People, we love you, but Jesus, help us out, well, man. Give Helen, us something to read. Helen responded, but it was more... Helen like, responded with uh, one of our... Shoot solutions. Josh in the foot. Shoot it, Josh. Shoot Josh in the leg. It's a pretty common tactic, and... Yeah. <laughs> As discussed in last week's podcast. <laughs> no emails. That's sad. But you know what? We have our own zombie survival to worry about. That's right. Mm-hmm. All right. You guys can just fend for yourselves. All right, shoot Nikki in the foot. Wait, uh, no. Don't shoot Nikki in the foot. Uh, Nikki's the one with the homesteading one with skills. All the you skills, need me. Really. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> you have fun with that botulism, buddy. <laughs> oh. yeah, zombie survival is not a figure it out kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> not a good time to teach yourself how to do some canning. And <laughs> That's true. Cardio, cardio, cardio. Double tap. <laughs> All right, so where do we begin? Um, let's just go around the table. Where would you... Uh, Mason, I'll start with you. All right. Where would you uh, hold yourself up at, and how would you go about doing it? Well, first thing I would do is I would go and grab Nikki here <laughs> in front of my brat. Nikki, because she knows how to like you know can food and do all that homesteading shit. Brad, true. because he's a really good shot and has a, a, a lot. And I mean... A lot of guns. So we have plenty of guns and ammunition to keep the zombies at bay with. While I'm canning things. Yes. Okay. While, you, while you're producing food. <laughs> um, and see, and that way, the thing is, is like he has enough guns to where, like, you know, Brad and I, who Brad's a better shot than I am, but we're both pretty decent shots, can deal with, like, using the uh, solid munitions. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, um, we could have, give you, like, you and Ange, like, shotguns. So you don't have to be quite as accurate. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like she'd do badly with a shotgun, but I like where you're going. Okay. I think that might kick her on her. Yeah. She well, I was about th- ninety pounds soaking weight, uh, but yeah. Well, I was thinking <laughs> we give her like an eighteen gauge. Okay. Okay. I think she can handle that. Yeah. And if nothing else, we can give her an eighteen gauge shotgun and have her stand against a wall every mm-hmm. time she fires it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, that would work. <laughs> but so you know, um, yeah, and basically my plan, basically. Um, I actually think of it. I actually think I actually go in a different method than a lot of people do because a lot of people are like, "Oh, I gotta head for the hills." Fuck heading for the hills. Mm. Run to the hills. Okay, and we'll, we'll bring in some Iron Maiden and. I think you have to. Uh, yeah, you kind of do Run actually. For yeah. your life. But no, I'm not going towards the hills. <laughs> That's the wrong move. Because. Most people would be going towards the hills. Mm -hmm. They'd be trying to get up into the mountains, into the forests, away from the zombies. we got plenty of those around here. Yeah. I would be going towards the coast. Mm -hmm. For two reasons. One, there's plenty of areas along the coast that are not heavily populated. We call it the Oregon coast, for the most part. Um, But besides the relatively low populations in a lot of areas of the coast that most people don't think about. There's also, it is also easier to get food on the coast because you can, even though I hate eating fish in a survival situation, I'll suck down some sushi like there's no tomorrow. Um, but fish are easy to catch. 
you know. So you have besides having, uh, you know, your general, you know, deer and elk populations because those are also down by the coast in uh, not heavily populated areas. You also have, you know, fish, crab, lobster, shrimp. You know, you have all of this. You know, on like, on the west coast, you have like mussels and stuff too. So you have all the seafood, and also um, on the west coast of the U.S., kelp, which is also edible. So you actually get the supplies of, um, of oceanic food too, which there is a reason that like 90 or 80% of the human population in the entire world lives near the ocean is because it's a, it's full of food. So I would actually head towards the coast because you have to worry about besides surviving the zombies, you have to worry about where your next meal is going to come from because I doubt McDonald's is going to be open. I'm just saying. Jake brains with that. <laughs> Aside from that, when's the last time you saw a zombie swim? There's that. Too. Um, well, they don't need to. Oh, Clearly, really you don't listen to the We're Alive podcast. Yeah, and I believe they also took care of that in uh, what was it? Um, not Day of the Dead. But was it? No, Land end? of the Dead. They walk underneath. Yeah, they just yeah, they just walked walk. in underneath. The, I don't yeah. like that one because they use guns too, though. So we're just going to pretend that movie's not. Well, they develop some sort of intelligence, and it's yeah, kind of sad. I'm not a fan of that. Um, zombies are better off stupid. Mm-hmm. We're better off with stupid zombies. I think is what you meant by that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The ones that can open doors and use guns, not so much. Yeah, but if there's if they're talking if, the, if the zombies run around using guns, what's the point at that point? Because yeah, of course that would also create a finite amount of zombies. Because if the zombies killed you with the gun and then ate your brain, you wouldn't become a zombie. That's true. Because it wasn't the infection zombie infection that killed you. However, they would also eat so much they'd probably eliminate their food supply quickly and end up either turning on themselves or dying out. But then again, all humans, pretty much all the humans would be dead, so it wouldn't matter. Well, let's not forget there are two kinds of zombies. There is the chemically induced ones, which we are very familiar with, but there's also the let's raise the dead yeah. zombies, which is... Uh, the good old necromancer zombies. Yeah, yeah. Those ones are a little bit scarier. Yeah. Just because they're animated corpses. So, well, that's what a zombie is. Yeah. Well, I mean, as in, they were a corpse completely, and then they were raised from the dead. They're not a biological or chemical oh, right. accident. Yeah, 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 okay. So then we can go for Last of Us, and they're actually a, um, a bacterial or fungal infection. That is what creates the zombies. Yeah, those things are creepy looking. Yeah, clickers are not cool that. looking. I'm really excited for that game. I haven't, I haven't played, played it either, either but, but I've seen enough about it that we're getting I a want PS3 to. with my taxes this year, and that is the first game I'm getting because I've been ogling those commercials for months. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. From what everything I've heard about heard about it, it's just also kind of the last PS3 game a lot of people are getting because it's just so good. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Anything apocalyptic zombie? It's yeah, I want it. Well, Grand Theft Auto Five as well. Yeah, there's no zombies in. There. I, I would play the shit no, out of that game. Aren't. Grand Theft well, Zombie? Do, they could, well, they could do like they did with, uh, with Red, uh, Dead. Red Dead and yeah. create like a zombie extension pack. That would be really cool. <laughs> zombie hookers. <laughs> oh, I was just... Actually, there are a lot of zombies in GTA V. They're called... Uh, uh, crackheads? LA Citizens. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for... Uh, yeah, they, they if anybody's going to do... The first time you ever bang a hooker zombie, it'll be Rockstar. Yeah. Ugh. Nobody's going to cross that bridge. You don't think time. that's happened yet in a game? Where you're banging a hooker? A hooker zombie. Oh, Not hooker, hooker zombie, zombie, I mean. I was, it's got to have been. Or just a zombie in general. I, was, I, have not, I have not been in that game. I have not played that game. I'm there really have been to it exists, So though. I got uh, the intro for uh, Zombieland. Run through my head. <laughs> Stripper zombie. Yeah. Oh. Bouncing around. <laughs> that was a good movie. That was hilarious. That was that a really was... great movie. I wonder if there was a, in the extension to... What's these special dead? vegan Twinkies made for... What? Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they had he, to make vegan Twinkies? Yeah, he's... Because he's a vegan. I didn't know that. That's awesome. So they made special vegan Twinkies so he could take bites of them. Oh, that's cool. The yeah. There's a... Uh, 
you guys ever see the uh, Zombieland TV pilot that they did for uh, Hulu? No. It was, no. It was uh, Hulu was doing this thing for Is like. Is it still on there? Probably. I don't think they actually turned it into a series though. It was just the pilot. They were doing like, like four or five pilots, and then the fans got to choose which one they liked the best, and that was going to be a series that they liked. Oh, okay. And the first one that they did was Zombie Land. It had nothing to do. I mean, it was all the same characters, but they're all played by completely different fucking actors. Like the guy who plays Tallahassee looks nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing like Woody Harrelson at all. That's that's kind of sad. <laughs> He's like slightly overweight and and just a. Uh, kind of a smart ass it was still a funny show and it had the same concepts where they were like they do the little pop-ups every once in a while and the same kind of hilarity ensues and it seemed like they were getting their uh getting their chuckles out of killing zombies you know that kind of yeah. thing. that's like that's where the comedy would come from is like the situations they put themselves in so i don't know it was a funny it was funny but i think definitely i, I wouldn't see it as probably a full I just made series. a note. I'm looking it up when I get home. <laughs> yeah, the only problem is, is like a lot of times, like the reason Walking Dead works as a television show is that it's not really about the zombies; it's about the mm. people. Mm. I yeah. also love that they go a different direction than the comics do. Well, yeah. I mean, I've only read like the first four trade paperbacks, but it was not. It didn't follow along exactly. It was kind of I liked that. Yeah. It didn't spoil anything by reading the comics and watching it. Yeah, but you know, it, being a, that it's about the people, you can keep it going for a lot longer. Whereas if it's just about killing zombies, you get to you get about two hours out of that before it's mm-hmm. done for mm-hmm. whatever. You know. Okay, granted, they've kept Resident Evil going for a long time. Especially but that's because well, Jovovich is yeah. really hot. Yeah. <laughs> There's that. Oh, you guys were talking about the movies. I was thinking the video games when you said that. Oh, I talk movies just because I picture her when people say Resident Evil, and that's that's okay. I still can't watch Resident <laughs> Evil movies without thinking multipass. <laughs> yeah, there's, I always have that problem, too. Big there, bada-boom. There's, uh, <laughs> there's uh, talks I just saw on a, on a movie site that they're talking, speaking of Mila Jovovich, we're derailing here real quick. No, uh, never in this podcast. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but they're they're in the they're in talks about developing a a, a female Expendables movie where I have talked with people about let, this. There would be some awesome going. They on. They would what have to have Michelle Rodriguez in it because she's in every movie yeah. ever. But they're they're calling it the Expendables, and then uh, oh. it's okay. That's Meryl really Streep. lame. But have you watched the Expendables movies? Because I've seen the first one. I haven't seen the pre- second one yet. There, it's. Awful, but it's awesome. Oh well, yeah, that, so, but that's I haven't seen the third one yet. There's but. so much Come makeup on. between Sylvester Stallone and freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> the amount of the amount of cake makeup on those guys, like you could keep an army of clowns in, in makeup <laughs> well, you know, for you, months just off that movie. You, the makeup you, used on you those two look actors. Good for the movies, you know. Oh god, and he slurs. Oh, they're so amazing. I'm so excited for the new one because they're just putting them out like candy now. Yeah, but well, the thing is, is that like. <laughs> Those guys are the ultimate action stars in a lot of ways. Like, you know, there's the newer guys out there, but... Oh, oh. it evaded you. Dustin almost got them off. Uh, yes. Uh, it's a wily uh, bastard. I think it's on the table. No. There it is. Oh, yep. You did? Oh, it's, it's crawling. crawling. Oh, no. not, why would you You should have just smacked it, it, dude. But, but yeah, the Expendables movies are good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to get back to the podcast. You guys can do whatever. Oh. We're going to chase the moth around the studio. It's cool. Yeah, but, <laughs> they're, but, they're, but they're awesome for all of all of their horrible badness because that's exactly what you go in expecting because mm-hmm. they are 80s action stars doing 80s action stars. Yeah, you want to go see a bunch of like horrible old action stars pretending that they're not arthritic and <laughs> senile. You, and it s- delivers and there's explosions. Have you seen Sylvester Stallone without a shirt on recently? The man oh, is no, still he's ripped. buff, but his face is a train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta look good. But, no, here's Meryl Streep, they're talking about the lead, which what? is weird. In an yeah. action movie? What? Yeah. Maybe it's gonna be like a Charlie's uh, Angels Jibovich, type scenario where she's. Uh, uh, aliens chick. Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney okay, Weaver. she, yes. So remember, you got, you're talking about. Washed up 80s oh, people, 80s God. and 90s yeah, action heroes. Well, they don't so, have to be washed up. Uh, I don't think. Well, they're not washed awesome. up, but, but I mean, they're like bringing in the nostalgia thing yeah. for it. So, but okay, 
Michelle but, Rodriguez would be a good addition. Like, she's her. been in every action movie ever, and she's always the chick that gets killed halfway through the movie, and then no one talks she, about she, it. She lasted through more than one Fast and the Furious movie. Hey, she's still alive. That's true. Yeah. She, no, she's, she's not dead yet. I know. She's la- I'm just saying she's lasted through more than one. But like yeah, every she, other movie she's in, she's yeah, the chick she's, that dies at the beginning. You yeah. thought she was dead like in the third or fourth one. But no. But, no, she's not. but okay. Plus, the Fast and Furious movies aren't actually being produced in linear order. They're not in chronological I've order. I've seen one of those. That was enough for me. I thought, no, that's not right. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Stop no, fighting. You're tearing not. this podcast apart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then how did Han die in Tokyo Drift me back in the next movie? Because he was definitively oh, dead Oh, shit, Drift. son. You got owned. I, don't, I haven't seen these movies. Well, Tokyo Drift was its own side story, though. No, it wasn't. It is part of the canon. Well, it is, but it was side from. But the, Mike, I feel like we it's part of side canon. So if it is part of canon, how did he die in the third movie and come back in the fourth? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I have a kitties work. Attention. Kitties yeah. work. My kitties are good action stars. Zombies. Oh yeah. <laughs> but anyway, oh, so I got to go on the, the whole expendable bells <laughs> thing here real quick. <laughs> Michelle Rodriguez, Sigourney Weaver, Mamila Jovovich. Um, I just forgot her name, but Zena. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm, mm. Oh, God, I was so in love with her in junior high. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, I was the Elijah Dishku. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from like, Sarah Ball Michelle House. Geller would be pretty badass. Except for, when was the last? I don't That's think like her, 90s. I don't think her and Freddie Prince have done anything. And the brains in, of the in, like, group. In, no, she's in Denver. a really shitty show with Robin Williams right now on CBS. Oh, okay. It's called like, yeah, the it's... Crazy Ones. I haven't seen an episode, but it looks god awful. The brains of the group would have to be Danica McKellar. That would be awesome. When Except you... for she's not known as an action star. If you look at all the ones I've talked, that's why she's the brains of the group. You know who they should get? Uh, have you? Seen, you know the um um. No, Felicia Day. Cause she was also in Dollhouse. So Just for shits tricks. and giggles, let's get one of the tricks from Saved by the Bell. I, <laughs> <laughs> and kill her off right away in the beginning. And then they kill um, Mario Elizabeth, Elizabeth, you know, Who's the uh, Australian? Say Elizabeth Berkeley, because you know, there was some action in, in striptease. Uh-huh. They should get the Australian stunt woman from Death Proof oh, yeah. in there. Oh, totally. Just because... She's not a very good actress, but she's really badass, and I feel that like that kind of falls in line with the Expendables. Yeah, yeah there's no good actors. Theme. In yeah, no, it was Lauren, and yeah, that was my Sylvester Stallone impression. That was pretty sorry. Good Stallone oh, was it okay? <laughs> Adrian, oh God. you just sound drunk and tired. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how you talk like him. You just gotta roll with the punches, you know. Um, so zombies, horrible. they yeah. should have a zombie Expendables movie. Yeah. That would be bad. <laughs> Zom- Expendables versus the, the final one. They could do. They have the Expendables and the Expendables team up to versus fight the zombies. zombie apocalypse. Um, you really need to set Shut up, up and take PayPal royalties account there, buddy, because. <laughs> Anything are you that listening involves Sylvester, companies? Okay. <laughs> Sylvester Sloan, if you are listening. <laughs> First of all, oh my God, I'm sorry for making fun of your face. You're, you're, one, <laughs> you're one of the 40 people listening to our show. <laughs> Feedback at nerdeffect.com. I am so Send sorry. Send us your money. <laughs> no disrespect, you're welcome. but that is a lot yeah. of makeup. In fact, you know what? Just throw our podcast name at the end of the movie, at the end of the, just at the ta- tail ass end of the us. credits, and I will still be happy. I... Cameos just, would be awesome, though. I just yeah. want to see... If I could be one of the undead that gets killed could by Sylvester Could we be like Sloan? the uh, Expendables versus Zombies equivalent of the Lone Gunman and just like show up and be nerdy and awkward and then leave and yes, everyone be... just gets confused and then we get our own spinoff series? That'd be cool. <laughs> I just want to see Chuck Norris versus Zombies. Oh. That's all I need. Martial artist for the Spendables, Michelle Yeoh. Oh yeah! Oh, she yeah, was yeah, in the yeah, she's yeah. in the casting list. Okay, good. Is yeah. she good? The mop yeah. is over by my face, and I'm gonna lose my shit. He's yeah. right way behind. You. Yeah, okay. Michelle Yeoh is in the she was in the casting list. Okay, good. Because yeah, yeah. without her, the, she, was the, the, she was the she was the gently counter. She was the yeah. gently counterpart. Mm. Are they seriously doing this, or are they just talking yeah. about it? Okay, because it, I am gonna watch the shit out of that movie. Oh, I mean, it's in to- it's in talks. That it means it's gonna happen because it. From the time when they're in talks to the time when you were watching oh, that movie. Oh, man, look at that. Mike, you were my hero. He Mike is an assassin. the moth. <laughs> He's not only an assassin on the mic, he's an assassin of insects. Wiki, wiki, what? Yeah, um. yeah. <laughs> 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 
totally. So lost. zombie moth. <laughs> zombie moth. Oh god, that would be awful. Because <laughs> they always fly at my face. So I'm going to be the first to go in this scenario with the zombie moths. Yeah. Somebody's going to run up to you and just slap you in the face. <laughs> 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 moth. Mm. <laughs> oh, that would be awful. <laughs> zombie kitties. No, don't hurt the kitties. My kitties would be actually very effective zombie fighting tools. I feel like I could just throw Zeus at them and he'd rip their heads off. It'd be awesome. <laughs> just like football format. Statue. Oh, yeah, no. That's Statue our, of Liberty play. That's, that's our intruder defense plan is just chuck yeah. Zeus at whoever it is. <laughs> zombie kitties, I'm doomed. <laughs> oh, so cute. Such a cute little... Ah! <laughs> yeah. It's got my arm. Oh, it's so cute. Ah, it's taking my ear off. Oh, it's so cute. Somebody oh, pl- give it treats. <laughs> look at it, look at it play with treats. my jugular. Aw, kitty. Intestines are fun to play with, too. <laughs> They're like shaped a, like string. Like, like fleshy yarn. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let it swallow it. It's bad for its in- insides. Oh. oh. But not if it's a zombie. It'll eat anything. Well, yeah, but yarn gets tangled up in their stomachs, so intestines would, too. Well, because they're fleshy. I don't Meats. even know you brought up the zombie kitties. I'm trying. See, now I'm <laughs> picturing the hairball afterwards. And... Oh, God. Uh, I would not want to step on that. Is that in human the hair? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, that's probably a thing that's happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> Nikki. Yes. Unless you were done. I'm done. Well, I like Mason's plan better than my plan because I have not revisited my plan in about six years. Should we come back to you? Well, oh, no, so cons- no. Like, I update my plan like weekly. So. Yeah, no. It's, <laughs> I mean, I, I like to feel like I've grown as a person. Let me put it this way. I think the only flaw to Mason's plan is that there's no, there's nothing between from here getting to the coast. Getting to the coast worries me, but we can figure that out. That, well, no, Stay okay. off the highways, we'd be okay. Brad, had, wake Brad up has a his- truck that has the license plate, I hunt, and it, <laughs> on it, okay. and is big. And has like brush guards under the whole thing, okay. and is very big and solid. And yeah, we're we're good. Okay. Actually. Okay. So, because you can hold five people in the cab plus supplies and more people mm-hmm. in the back. So we're we're going. And when Angie's one of those people, I think that kind of increases the number of people that you can fit in there because she's so tiny. Yeah. So, well, that's good. That's good. So yeah, no. I, yeah. No, the, I can shoot. By the way, I have a BB gun, and I'm really good with that. But I've never shot a real gun in my uh, life. I have a 22. Do you? I want Maybe to not high enough power to like actually. Because you, you got a headshot. He could deter other humans here. from stealing yeah. our True. our supplies, though. Yeah. And hunt for small animals to eat. That's useful. Yes. My BB gun could kill a squirrel, probably. It takes out uh, dish network dishes like nobody's business. <laughs> <laughs> Ping. Uh, anyways, my zombie plan. Uh, was formulated back when I worked at Game World. Sean, if you're listening, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, we used to get really bored because, believe it or not, during the day, during the week, nobody goes to arcades except like a couple of really creepy older guys that had to let us know that they were pedophiles. Those were the only people that were in there during the week, during the day. So we would be standing behind the counter and just bored out of our skulls. And, of course, what would any self-respecting nerd do but perfect our zombie apocalypse plans? So... Uh, our plan was to actually go to Game World, the arcade, because we had welding equipment there. There was a generator at the movie theater. We had chest freezers full of food behind the counter. All of the windows were very narrow panes that would have been easy to reinforce, plus breaking a narrow paned window is really hard to do. And then if anyone did get in, out in the hallway, there was actually a ladder leading up to a second room on the above where Game World was that nobody really knew about, and that was the only way to get up there was a ladder. And then there was actually like a, a line coming down from the roof down to the, the middle of the courtyard that you could have, you know, zip lined down uh, to use to escape. Is that the one that's attached to the, to the fountain? Statue? Yep. <laughs> it's it's strong. We've tested it. We got bored. Um, so that was our plan. <laughs> what do you mean you tested it? Well, one of the guys jumped up and dangled, but oh, it, it's I thought strong. maybe you like went up to the roof and yes. threw a no, t-shirt around it or something. That would have been awesome and <laughs> really Wee! stupid. So that was my plan for years, but now Game World's closed. And I don't know what they're doing in there. It's empty still. Um, yeah, I'm going to guess there's no more welding equipment. And all the other businesses around there that we were going to steal more food from are probably... They're 
shutting down. No, nothing can stay open out in that complex for long, yeah, apparently. That place so. is doomed. Yeah. The, it's, that, the problem is that they still want so much money for the rent at that complex. Mm-hmm. They're like, you're next to a movie theater. Well, if I can't stay open, there's no point. Yeah, and if there's no businesses around here, no one's going to hang out after their and movies. If our, right. If yeah. an arcade can't survive next to a movie theater, mm-hmm. I mean... What chance do you have? Yeah. yeah. That's like the I, perfect companion place exactly. to have to a theater. Yeah. I was pretty surprised when they shut down. And sad, because I worked there for about three years. It's a long time to perfect my zombie apocalypse plan. Then a few years ago, when I was single, my plan was to go up to my family has a cabin in the mountains that's up on stilts because it's on a hill. So it'd be really easy to defend because there's only one way that you can get into it. Right. Um, but now... Until I heard your plan, I've been thinking holding up until everyone's done freaking out was a good idea. I still think that's a good idea. Yeah. And then just tightailing it out of town because, you know, the highways are going to get just completely jam-packed. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's chaos. So. Zombie nom grounds. Yeah, zombie nom grounds. Exactly. So now my plan is hold up until things clear up and then apparently join teams with Mason and go to the coast in a giant truck. With a shotgun and yeah, canning like, supplies. <laughs> like you see you and Mason being all like, you know, wonder zombie killing powers activate. <laughs> Can we get wonder twin rings? Nice. Awesome. <laughs> That'd be so They have cool. like interlocking Z symbols, like <laughs> one's embossed and one's, you know, popped yeah. out so that they. I have Sculpey Clay. Head. We could make this happen. Yes, we could. Yeah. I want to make an Adventure Time ring set. Adventure Time ring set. Yeah. Like so <laughs> basically, like think of rings I don't know, like that, where you yeah. put your fists together, uh-huh. and when they come together, they said. make the like okay. explosion sound. That's what she said. Like the. Oh, okay. Okay. So you like you know go into do a like real slow fist tap, and they touch, and it's like. That's pretty cool. I love Adventure Time. Adventure Time. Yay! Yay! Yay. I will confess I am a hoarder, so the holding up in our house would be... Not a hoarder, a prepper. Sorry, we have a word for it now. So uh, the holding up in my house would be a lot easier. (laughs) Do you think your house would be strong enough to hold up in? Well, we have two big windows in the front, but we're also kind of back behind a fence, and it's like a double-thick fence, so I could steal panels off the fence without affecting the structural integrity of it really all that much. And reinforce my windows with that. I feel like if we kept quiet and stayed out of sight, we could. See, here's the problem. Yeah. Is that, at least for me, is that you've got to be on constant move, it seems like. Mm. Cause, like, I like Mason's idea. As long as there's zombies, stay at bay. And you have a community of people who are willing to work with each other. Because you also got to worry about raiders people who are probably not giving a fuck about you or anybody else, people who will kill you for anything. I think if you have enough people staying in one place is feasible. you got to have enough people and enough supplies. But there's like a lot of cliffs on the coast that well, you see, can hold up in. Well, see, that's one of the things is, is that on the coast, you always have one side. Like on the, on the California coast or in the West Coast in general, you pretty much have one side you don't have to defend mm-hmm. because it's a cliff. Mm-hmm. See, and that's exactly what I thought when you said that. I was like, yeah. oh, that's brilliant. That's, um, Plus, and it if, makes it a uh, easy disposable area. Yeah, you can just so yeah, your mm-hmm. mitten can just toss the bodies out there. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and there's certain areas if you find if you find the river uh, river gorge as it goes into the coast, you can get it. So you basically have two sides you don't need to defend. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm picturing holding up halfway up a cliff. You could do that too if you could find. Uh, yeah, like by, like Multnomah Falls area. Yeah, yeah, get up there. It's hard enough to walk up there as a living person. I can't even. <laughs> you know. Yeah, there's that. But yeah, and you could, and if you if you set it up right, you could have a nice, clear, basically kill zone mm-hmm. that you could see, and you know you could reinforce it using, you know, standardized apocalyptic uh, fencing uh, materials. In mm-hmm. other words, everything. Yeah. Um, and basically build a fence and some structures, you know, for shelter. And, you know, as long as you have a sizable enough community and enough ammunition, essentially, mm. you could pretty much keep it safe for We'd quite a long time. We'd pretty much have to raid stores on our way out of Idaho because everyone here has got a gun. So we could probably find a decent amount while we're still in state. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. I was going to say, and also the other thing is, is with, uh, I mean, <laughs> even in Oregon, the problem is, is that most of Oregon, everyone has a gun. It's pretty mm. much 
only Barton that doesn't own guns. <laughs> That's where my brother lives. <laughs> Idaho, Good luck, Jason. Survival state. <laughs> it's true. So, but yeah, but as long as you, and the thing is, is like a lot of people will turn into zombies and therefore they won't have their guns. So you can get to places. Now, what kind of zombies do you prefer for this org- this coast scenario? Are you preferring the twenty eight days later zombies? The what what, what the kind of zombies? Brrr. Romero zombies. Romero, Romero zombies. Okay. They're slow and dumb. Yeah. Those are, I always they'd probably slow walk off the cliff lemmings style. Really. Right. Yeah. Uh, there's that too. <laughs> <laughs> you just walk up behind them. Oh, thunk. Yeah. <laughs> Just have, have a long stick. Just yeah, we could just like make block. like have a crane parked on the edge of the cliff with like something dangling from it, and they'd be like, Murr, and then just walk off. Yeah. yeah, just hold like a live rabbit on the end of the mm. line. I'm picturing something a little more substantial, like a cow. Yeah, mm. sheep maybe. Sheep. <laughs> was that a sheep noise, or were you laughing? Because it sounded <laughs> like you were making a sheep noise. Well, that was a laugh. Well, it was a very well done sheep. It was laugh. a sheepish laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I was just <laughs> thinking about the noise they'd make, and yeah, yeah. Uh, the zombies or the sheep, yeah, because they're both funny. Yeah, that would be some. You'd have to place them a little, a decent ways down from your colony, but then it would also lure the zombies away from right. you. Yeah. You could have like a series of cranes set up on the cliff. I like, I like where this is going. <laughs> just because I'm picturing all the cranes with <laughs> poor farm animals just dangling <laughs> from them. What's going on? You'd have to like switch them out and shift. So. Uh, you wouldn't be able to sleep at night just with all the. No, well, they're going to be a decent ways away from the colony. That's the like point. what's the quiet? Plus, at this point, I'll have gun mops because of all the shooting we're going to be doing. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to have earplugs. I mean, that's just a given. Yeah. In order to sleep mm-hmm. in the post apocalyptic really, zombie infected world. Get those world. really fancy ones that actually heighten your sense of hearing until a, a gunshot goes off. Yes, those would be awesome. Yeah. Those would be what? Perfect. I've never heard of those. Yeah, there's. You have earphones. My brother in law has a pair. That they have microphones on them. Oh, cool. And they're powered. And when you have them turned on, you can actually. They actually have speakers in them. You can hear really well. I'd be scared to use those the first time. They're, they're a little intimidating. Like, you can hear, like, shit, like. Insects crawling around in the grass. It's, wow. They're like hypersensitive, but because gunshots have a pretty sp- specific report to them. Yeah. When they go, when they, when that high velocity sound, that high, that high decibel sound happens, they instantly cut off. They basically got like a, a trigger that. Yeah. That, oh, that's a really cool you idea. Know, they're, they're basically like noise canceling headphones for you know like just um, for gunshots, but just for gunshots. That's yeah. an awesome idea. And you hear it in stereo too, which is even creepier. That's so you so still cool. get left and right sound in them. So if you hear oh, yeah. something over here, you hear it. That would be a really effective microphone. zombie defense tool. Yeah. So thinking in terms of having you know, like animals hanging off from a crane and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. So it'd probably be more effective to have a guy hanging out there. Yeah, but who would like, want to oh, do no, that? You can't get me. I was out here. Yeah. Well, well, you don't have that, guy, there. that could have... be like the punishment for if we had people breaking laws in our community. <laughs> You're you on go. crane duty. Sorry, dude. Six hours of crane duty. <laughs> yeah. Or you yeah. just yeah. trap a marauder. Mm-hmm. Or you can get those guys yeah, that don't have any real skills to contribute. Give be my... like, all right, we'll let you in, but uh, you're on crane duty. Yeah, I feel like if it was a marauder, we'd have to have like a full-on shark cage style enclosure for them. And yeah. just like, you live here now. Congratulations, douchebag. Lol. Yeah. <laughs> We have gladiator style battles. We'll have like one live zombie on hand and just throw him in there in a pit and just be like, "Have fun, bitch!" Zombiseum, like the, lions coming up from the pits instead of lions, it's zombies. Yeah, zombie lions coming yeah. up from the pits. Oh, that would be horrifying. Yes, it would. Lion, uh, zombie. Brains. No, for out of all the animals in North America, though, zombie bears, zombie grizzlies. It's not even a joke. Yeah, uh, actually, zombie right. raccoons would scare the ever-loving shit out of me because squirrels, raccoons, no raccoons, they're evil, vile creatures. Badgers. They have thumbs. Raccoons have thumbs, and they're smart, and they're mean, and they don't give a shit. Now imagine if they were zombified. <laughs> <laughs> if they can get into anything, it's like now they really don't. Yeah, give a shit. now they don't give a shit, and they want your brains. <laughs> like they ripped open my neighbor's cat a few months ago. She's fine because they found her in time, but. They are horrible and scary, and I saw the paw prints, and they're like as big as my 70-pound dog's paws, which means it is this beast of a raccoon that I've never seen, and because it lives in my yard. Yeah. yeah. Horrifying. That would scare me the most. That would scare me more than bears, because you're going to hear a bear coming. Yeah. But the bear doesn't care that you hear it coming. That's no, it. but the, I would like to think that you're going to hear a zombie bear coming pretty early. 
Yeah. And if you're prepared, you'll have a chance to defend yourself. Well, there is a zombie raccoon could just break into your fucking house and kill you while you sleep. Yeah. Nature's, nature's Sorry, zombies. I don't like raccoons. Wow, we know Nikki's worst nightmare right now. I hate raccoons, and I had never thought about zombie raccoons before just now. Quick, somebody out there, fan art, zombie raccoons. Don't do it, please. <laughs> <laughs> I will have nightmares for the rest of my life. Oh. Like trash cans. <laughs> just a trash can full of brains. Yeah. So now Nomi knows what she can bring what she can bring as a gift for the podcast when she comes for the Doctor Who episode. Zombie raccoons? <laughs> I'm just horror. kidding. What's that I'm guy? trying to scare you. It's, I, it's working because I'm going to go home and walk up to my dark house yeah. and there's going to be a raccoon out there somewhere just watching me from the bushes. You catch that little flash glint. You yeah. Think it's and eyes. you see it running across the street and you just think it's a cat running weird. Oh, wait, no, it's an 80 pound raccoon. I don't know if they get that big. I think this one is, though. That is a gigantic <laughs> fucking raccoon. That's like a medium sized dog. My dog weighs 70 pounds. The paw print I saw was the same size as my dog's paw Are you print. sure that was a raccoon? Yeah. Thumbs. That's how you know it's a raccoon. They have <laughs> so fucking rac- thumbs. Raccoons actually have large paws for mm. their size, so it's probably only 40 or 50 pounds. Maybe that's what they want you to think. Okay. <clears throat> Love. Just, sorry. <laughs> Zombie raccoons. Mike. Nah. Oh. You have a plan? Um... Not as well thought out as these guys, but... <laughs> <laughs> Mine's not either. Yeah, basically my plan involves getting my ass to Emmett and getting all the guns together. <laughs> so, yeah, um, girlfriend has family in Emmett. They have guns. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll go hang out with the rednecks. I, I think that's a pretty good zombie survival plan right there. They have big trucks and guns. That's a great survival plan. Yeah. <laughs> You don't you don't figure a limited food supply in that area though. Well, I doubt we'll be staying in Emmett specifically for very long, but <laughs> yeah, they we can hunt <laughs> in Emmett. Well, not in Emmett. <laughs> but there's plenty of hunting right outside of Emmett. Emmett. Yeah, there's plenty. Plus, of like those stuff. little laws about oh, it's only a two point buck, you can't shoot it. Those are gone. So yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's a doe. Yep, good eating. Boom. I figure. Yeah. I figure. Even with the BB gun, you get enough squirrels. You've got a really decent soup going on. Yeah, yeah. And I've seen that. I mean, I've Bourdain. played enough Fallout. Yeah. Squirrel on a stick is somewhat appealing. Perfectly now. Perfectly acceptable. Yes. The, the fire I, I, burns off the fur. Everybody. Rad Roach is okay. Yeah, because from the Fallout. Yeah. <laughs> Still, every time I pass by the bathroom at work, they got that first aid kit sitting on the wall right there. I want to loot it every time. <laughs> We've got one out there. <laughs> yeah, we got one hanging on the wall right outside the door, off the door there. Oh, man. Every time I see one, I'm just like, my first instinct is to just open that damn thing up. Yep. Ooh, what do we got? Rad X and Rad Away. Hell yeah. <laughs> Stimpack. Stimpack. Happy, happy Stimpack. Booyah. Wait, what? Um, Actually, speaking of Rad X and Rad Away, they... There is, they are actually now working on a drug that um, lowers the amount of radiation that can penetrate your cells for a, for a short amount of time. For like, like suntan pills? <laughs> no, think uh, Radex from uh, Fallout. Don't play Fallout. Uh, yeah. I know you don't, but our listeners might. Well, then you got to explain it to our <laughs> non-Fallout players. Um, I'm a non-Fallout player, too. It's okay. Basically. Yeah, half this crew. And, like, try to look up what they're talking about so I can pretend like I know and I'm not getting results. Basically, it's a drug that you take in the game, and when uh, you have to go into irradiated areas, you take you you absorb less rats. Oh, Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they're coming up with a real one. Yes. That's smart. That's way better than the radiation-proof underwear that they're... It's got to keep your sperm from mutating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or iodine pills. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was the old one. Oh, yeah. 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 But, yeah, they're actually working on a drug that limits the amount... That reduces the amount of radiation that's absorbed by your cells. That's interesting. So yes. it will um, help delay, or if you're in there for not enough... If you are in there for a more survival. So what you're saying is if Spock would have taken that pill, (laughs) (laughs) he would have lived. No. 
That looks like that was a lot of radiation. It did. It was really <laughs> shiny in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and besides, they got two movies out of Killing Spock. <laughs> Have you seen the commercials for the, I think it's like a GE commercial? It's got the Star Trek crew in it. Anybody? Well, GE. I think it's GE. Uh, yeah, I, I know the Galaxy Gear commercial where it goes through the different watches. No, well, they're GE talking about like a... powering cars. Oh, no, I haven't seen that one. Well, there's the one where they do the robots, which has data pop up at the no, end. No, this is like they're trying to get out of the grip of a wormhole or something, and they can't, and then they use GE technology or whatever it is, and Enterprise just zips off. So GE develops warp drive technology, is what you're saying? Yeah, basically. Uh, no. Again, NASA <laughs> yeah, is working on warp drive technology. It I hope feasible. that they do it in our lifetime. That would be amazing. You never know. NASA could be, or GE could be funding it. There's this really amazing podcast They're like called Trader space. Tales, and it's these solar schooners, and it's basically just like, like it's like Treasure Island in space. Nice. Yeah. Oh, solar schooners. Yeah, yeah. Solar yeah it's, it needs to exist. <laughs> space pirates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would so be a space pirate. <laughs> yeah. So you just the uh, dread pirate, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> a pink skull and crossbones painted on the side of your. It'd ship. be a yard bunny. It'd be a bunny skull and crossbones. Mm. Yeah. It's more adorable. Yeah. It's, it's what was that one called? Ice pirates. Ice pirates. Yeah, I remember like ice space pirates. pirates. There yeah. was ice pirates. Yeah. Yeah. Space herpes. Uh-huh. Ah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Say for uh, say for that era of movies though, I gotta say my favorite is Buckaroo Banzai. Yes, Buckaroo Banzai. I've got a lot of Flash Gordon DVDs. Awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. (laughs) The cartoon and the live action. (laughs) Oh yeah, that is not zombies. So my survival plan. (laughs) Back onto the zombies. Uh, Yeah. Go in space. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Abduct space zombies. Just saying. Whoa. Hmm. Well, again, going back to the dead space thing. No. Yeah, necromorphs. necromorphs. Close enough. <laughs> uh, Pretty much, yeah. Um, my initial idea was to hole up in a Walmart. No, that was the other thing about my game world plan. Is there's a Walmart down the street? Yeah, mm-hmm. Walmart. Walmart has ammunition, food, entertainment that will last you forever. Generators. It's got like a Generators. four or five foot concrete wall that surrounds the whole thing, and you just have to make sure all your doors and and bay areas are all locked up tight mm-hmm. uh, you got a, a roof access I'm sure that you could if uh, if a helicopter ever decided to uh, show up in the area uh, you can also use that as a sniping location uh, freezers food up the ass a lot of it will probably not expire within the next two years <laughs> um, actually you would have to eat fresh first and then hope the freezers were still on and it yeah, would, that's true. Because that's another thing is, is that without people actually maintaining the power grid and keeping it working correctly, our power grid will probably not last more than a week before it starts breaking down. You get enough people you could eat through Walmart in a week. Just make yeah. a lot of soup. Yes. Stone soup. Keep it going. They sell canning supplies there. Ooh. And... Get yourself a pressure fires. canner. So we're going to have a shotgun in one hand, a whip in the other, and we're using the whip on Nikki. Can <laughs> faster! Can faster! <laughs> it needs to go for 60 minutes! I, c- <laughs> ah, I cannot can any faster! <laughs> no, I know Macy said not to I'm run to the hills, but for some shift. reason I have this inkling that running towards McCall would be a good idea. McCall mm. has a big lake area. McCall Cascade, you can back to the lake. Um, well, no, we already discussed the problem with backing to the lake. Well, zombies can just walk through the water. It's true. Lakes are shallow. And salt water is also more corrosive. So yes. if they got in the ocean, I think they'd deteriorate faster. Yes. Because everything... That, that is one problem with the coast plan, though, is everything deteriorates on the coast. Yes. Isn't there a lot of yuppies up in McCall? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be tempted to go up to McCall just to kill yuppie zombies. There's yeah. true. I have a friend whose parents have a cabin up in McCall, and they've actually got a really kick-ass garden around it. They grow hops... And then they give it nice. to the ram, and the ram brews like a special limited edition beer with it. It's oh, nuts. Geez. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, my zombie survival plan was just basically hope. <laughs> yeah. Find Mason and Angela. Find, find the right people. <laughs> pair up with people who aren't going to murder you viciously for your oh, things. Contrary then... to popular opinion, I would not shoot G- or Bowers in the foot. And well, Helen said he she would. Shoot. 
He, he can shoot. I've shot yes. with him. He's good. I believe Helen is skilled with a weapon as well. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Multiple weapons. <laughs> So, Ooh, she needs to be on our team. She's in Germany. But she's How in can Germany. we get Helen here? Helen, she's in Germany. If zombies happen, Helen, please please come back to Boise. You and Jeff and Pickle can come here and be on our zombie team. Pickle's their corgi. Dude, he's if, adorable. If, if, if zombie, oh, yeah. He, Pickle would be the mascot. He's a corgi. Oh, he's if, really good at tackling If zombies people, are going to start anywhere, it's either going to be in here or in Germany. Because there's going to be oh. some sort of like leftover Nazi regime that's still experimenting out there that's going to be like, let's fucking raise the dead. Division 5. Yes. Isn't that Dead Snow? <laughs> Isn't that the movie with the Nazi zombies? I haven't watched it yet because it's mm. subtitles and I have to be in the right mood to read my movies. But um, yeah, Dead Snow. There's actually a movie. Called, how about how about this? Let's go to uh, zombie movies. Because I watched one about a year ago that had me in stitches. No pun intended. Huh. <laughs> Uh, it had uh, um, Robert England in it and Jenna Jameson, and it was simply called uh, Zombie Strippers, and it was amazing. <laughs> I think you told me about that one. <laughs> Just <laughs> the worst friggin' B oh. movie you've ever seen in your life, but like the entertainment value for your dollar out of that is amazing. It's on Netflix; you can stream it. It's free. Just, just do yourself a favor. Give yourself the you know. 90 minutes or whatever it is to My watch My queue is just full of movies like that. Uh, just Love just them. imagine a zombie, Jenna Jameson. They don't actually show it, but it's there. Just putting billiard balls into her vagina and then launching them out at like unnaturally high speeds. And I'm watching that this weekend. And if that didn't sell you on <laughs> watching it... I think what you just said will sell Ange on that movie, it, actually. It, it, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not like a... Yeah... Isn't it the one where like Robert England has a whole bunch of guns? Yeah, he's and like he's an like, obnoxious amount of guns, and, and then he, he's like, the how owner do you shoot of him? the strip club. Yeah, how do you shoot him? I don't know. It says I have the right to bear him, not that I know have to know how to shoot him. Nah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've heard about. I've seen clips from that movie, but I haven't seen it yet. It's so entertaining. It's not a good movie by any means, but if you want, if you want good movies, Twenty Eight Days Later sticks out. Mm. The uh, the Dawn of the Dead remake sticks out in my head too because I always like. I actually really like 28, 28 weeks later as well. Not a lot of people I did. Seen I, weeks it's, later I thought it was good because they still focus on the people more than the zombies, which is what I like. I like to see how people survive, not how they hmm. bash in zombie brains. Yeah, I think it was uh, Day of the Dead was the really old one that they did where they held up in the mall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was the. Second, they remade, well, that was they remade the, that one. That was the. Th- Third of Romero's movies. I actually okay. have the original Dawn it was of the Dead. Night of, it was Night, Dawn, Day. Mm-hmm. Well, it was Return of the Living mm-hmm. Dead, too. That was the fourth one. That's the newest all one. amazing. No, Return of the Living Dead came out in like the 80s. Yeah. Okay. It was very campy. Yeah. All of Romero's movies were campy. I'm going to put it out there but and burn there was... some bridges. I really liked World War Z. I have the movie. I haven't seen it yet. I, I mean, I have the book. Really. I, oh, see, a lot of people were mad because they're calling it World War Z, but the book is totally different. Because uh, the book is a series of stories from different people all over the world of how they survived the apocalypse, and World War Z is Brad Pitt is the in, the zo- the, in the zombie apocalypse. But, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think that, like... Like from what I've heard, because I've heard that from a lot of people mm. who've read and seen the movie, read yeah. the book and seen the movie, that, like... One, from what I've heard, the book would not have made a good movie the way it, it is wouldn't written. have. It would have made a good uh, miniseries, right? Yeah, because then you could do like each mm-hmm. each section, um, each story as a different as a different episode, basically. But like taking kind of the premise of what hap- what happened in World War Z mm-hmm. and showing that part in the movie because he does do a little bit of traveling around to right. different places while he's hunting things down. And I know they changed some, like they put it in. China or some I, they, they yeah. move it from where it was in the book where it started in the book and stuff but yeah. sometimes they do that solely for their because of actual real world political tensions. I liked it Peter Capaldi mm. was in it which was kind of cool because he was a doctor for the World Health Organization WHO yeah. Dr. WHO <clears throat> um, but also they it was more about being an action movie that just happened to have zombies in it and it wasn't about the gore right which Zombie movies are the ones where I can handle the gore most of the time, but a lot of more modern movies just kind of lean on it like a crutch. Yeah. Whereas this was just a really cool action movie that happened to have zombies in it, 
and yeah. I really I think you'll enjoy it too. It was pretty good. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I actually like the Resident Evil movies mm-hmm. compared to a lot of other horror quote unquote movies is that they're basically action movies where you're they're killing zombies. I have an well, Umbrella Corp mm-hmm. badge Re- at home that a friend made me. The the Resident Evil movies though have stepped beyond zombies. I mean it's not I mean, it's like strip monsters now. Last yeah. one I saw was when well, they were in the, Vegas. I was saying, I but they that. have the games have more than zombies. You know, mm-hmm. like the bosses are these big monstrous things. But stuff. it was still because the virus a is just mutu- mutating though. things so crazily that they're turning into these monsters. Like there's zombie dogs, zombie oh, birds. God, my brother yeah. and I watched mm-hmm. the first one probably fifty zombie times, sharks. and every time the zombie dogs came out, we just laughed our asses off, and I don't know why. They looked like they had like meat hanging from them. Yeah, it was awful and hilarious. It was. <laughs> we also watched. Uh, oh, I can't remember the other movie. That animated anime movie, the little girl that goes to like this uh, Spirited Away, the part where she runs down the stairs and slams into the wall. <laughs> those were the two movies we always rented, and those were the two parts that we always watched. The the movie that made me laugh no matter what was uh, the original Charlie and Chocolate Factory, mm. where the grandpa's like dancing. Jake, if Jake was here, he would he would know exactly what I'm talking about. But there's a scene where uh, the grandpa, you know, he gets up off the bed and he's walking around again and. He starts dancing, and they go into a musical, and there's a part where he just leans backwards, like he kind of locks up and just falls backwards yeah. right on top of Charlie onto the bed. You all hear is Charlie go, Arr! <laughs> <laughs> Jake and I just laughed our asses off every time we see that, just because it looks so wrong. Sweeney Todd was on one of the antenna television channels like the now channel or whatever that would have been edited I, uh, to all get out it still had gratuitous amounts of blood and i was just <laughs> laughing my ass off i've seen it a million times but for some reason watching it on tv with the commercials i think made my brain like stop and pause and not get as into it yeah so the ridiculously like gory just violence was hilarious in that format for some reason, just giving your brain that little break <laughs> from getting involved in the story just made it so funny. <sighs> mm-hmm. Anything else zombie related? Brains, 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 brains. brains. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I was, gonna, I would say for, <laughs> um, say my movie picks would be Romero, the Romero movies. They're still the best in the genre in a lot of ways. I mean, yeah, they're not the most technically advanced. They're campy, but. Without those movies, the zombie genre would not exist the way it does. Now, if we opened it up to just full-on post-apocalyptic, would you still say Romero zombies? Or would you have a different... Like, instead of just zombie apocalypse, just post-apocalypse? Like nuclear fallout? Yeah, or, like, just open it up to just uh, collapsed the society. Games. Yeah, I mean... Still post-apocalypse. Mad Max. The Mad Max. Fallout games. Mm. Have you guys seen... There's a British show. It's called Survivors. That's a great show. Oh I my seen god! It. I wish they made more it, it's of them. Like it's like a reality show, kind of, but they set them up in a bay. No, that's the colony, and oh, that is colony. amazing. The and colony, yeah. I really wanted to audition for the third season of it, but I couldn't justify being away from my home for four months. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, survivors. It's basically there's a disease that kills out like ninety percent of the populace, and it's these people that meet up and then just survive together it's very very interesting and their problem isn't anything like zombies it's the other people that survived yeah mm. yeah it's very very good it's on netflix i highly recommend it what's it called the survivors, survivors. yeah was, that, that's like in fallout the other pro- the problem isn't necessarily like the super mutants or anything like that most of your problems are other people mm-hmm. 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 just like just like real life yeah yeah I used to be a people person, then people ruined that for me. I used to be a people person, then I started riding a scooter, and now I want to murder everyone in a big car that almost hits me. (laughs) (laughs) I still have faith in people, somewhat. I am turning into a fuddy-duddy. I just... uh, Like, we go to Costco, and I just have to bite my tongue the whole time, because it makes me so mad. I'm like, walk on the right side of the aisle. Stop walking into me. She has a cane. Why are you trying to run her over? Ah! (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, common courtesy is... It's just so, a sample! It's free! <laughs> not, not so common these days. Nope. Mm. But Yeah, for just Apocalypse in general, uh, for, for my vote, Fallout. The Fallout games. Like as far as your preferred yes. scenario. But uh, um, 
I was say, what about the? Uh, uh, what about everybody else on that one? I I got to go with Mad Max. Uh, Road Warrior is where I started my post apocalypse. Not Thunderdome. <laughs> no, I, uh, Thunderdome Two had men some neat enter, bits, one but leave. <laughs> overall, it was kind of yeah, on Thunderdome. But it's it's I, I love the Road weird... Warrior. I love the little kid in there mm-hmm. with the boomerang because you know it's Australian and all that. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, gotta have a boomerang. Poisonous animals and boomerangs and kangaroos. That's that's all that's there. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely what... And did you reduce? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was my original thing that got me interested in the genre, and that's the one that stuck with me the most. Biblical apocalypse. Mm. Mm. Have you seen uh, The Road? It's got Viggo Morton... Morton. Viggo Morton. Yeah, that guy from Lord of the Rings in it. <laughs> and then a kid, and it's... The world went to shit. I don't think they ever tell you why. But there's no food. People are resorting to cannibalism. It's just him and his son trying to not die the whole movie. It's really intense, but really good. Kind of reminds me of the God. What was it? The Book of uh, Book of Eli. Book of Eli. Book of Eli. It's yeah. yeah. I think they actually came out around the same time. Okay. That one's really good too. I want to watch that again. Actually, zombie video games. Am I the only one on this Plants one? Plants vs. Zombies? That's, that's, Two. That's uh, valid, which has Jerry and Silent Halloween. Bob in it. They're in... I haven't gotten that far yet, but I'm excited now. Uh, it, it, they have Halloween costumes on currently for the uh, holiday. I know. Yeah. Sunflowers and witches hats. <laughs> but I remember playing the first Resident Evil game. That was the bomb diggity. I... Tank controls and all. I still loved it. Uh, I can't even remember the name of the one I'm thinking of, but uh, they had one where you're in a mall. Dead and Rising. I was getting to you it. You grab anything and use this Dead weapon. Dead Rising. Okay, Dead Rising. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. remember hearing about that when that came out. How you I, have Dead Rising. I have Dead Rising 2 on my PlayStation, and it is uh, fucking amazing. It's just like an open world. It, it's kind of cool in the fact that... It, the, you have timed missions, like you have a certain amount of time to get a task complete on some missions, otherwise it's considered a fail. Uh, but at the same time, as long as you don't have a mission equipped, I mean, you can just run around and just fucking... I mean, you're in... Okay, as far as uh, Dead Rising 2 is concerned, you're in a... Uh, almost like a strip, like a Vegas strip area. And you can go in and out of different casinos and different like areas, and uh, you have to avoid... Marauders and uh, psychopaths, like people who have just completely lost their fucking mind, and those are actually the worst people to deal with because they're ungodfully powerful for some reason, just because their adrenaline is so high. Crazy and people power. Nuts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then there's the un the ungodly amount of undead that you can just literally run through, and they won't do anything to you. Just as long as you keep moving, they really won't do anything to you. And you're just like, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and you'll just start lurching at you. You just can't stop for any longer than like a second before they start to like gravitate towards you. Uh, but what makes that game fun is the hundreds of ways that you can kill somebody in that game. Like you can take a uh, a boat paddle and put two chainsaws on either end of them and just and and uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. I never really had any zombie games because my PlayStation was a hand-me-down for my brother. So the games I had for it were the ones he had. And he was younger than me, so he had the ones my parents bought him. And they didn't buy him zombie games. Would you count Doom? Is, was, were those zombies or were they like lab monsters? I don't remember. They it was were so long technically ago. like possessed creatures because okay. it was all about a portal to hell opening up. Basically. Mm-hmm. I, I played the original Doom way back in the Doom's day. Doom's very... Zombie-ish. It yeah. scared the shit out of me at the time. Yeah. I remember that. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, we're going to drop you into dark places and make things jump out at you. Yeah, totally mm-hmm. not going to give you nightmares because you're probably playing this in a dark Here's room Here's a anyway. flashlight. By <laughs> yeah. the way, you can't use your flashlight and a gun at the same time. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> How about... Uh, I say Doom 3 relied too heavily on that, though. Mm. Yeah. How do you think you would fit into a group of survivors? Like, what would be your role? Like say you say the zombie apocalypse has happened. It's been a couple, two, three, four months. People are starting to settle down a little bit now that some of the initial chaos is cleared. 
I'm going to make a reference that you're going to get, and they're not going to. I'd be the Datu. <laughs> <laughs> How is that possible? You would, you're going to be the mechanic? No, I would be the one that fixes everything. And, yeah, but well, he's like a mechanic. Like food and sewing and stuff like that. You, no, but I mean, like that, that would be, I would be the one that just does what they're told and tries to help out. Not the mechanic. I didn't mean it literally. It's like everybody other than Michael. Why do you gotta why do you gotta argue with what I said I'd be? You're not the boss of what I'd be in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Are you saying you're the boss of our group? Because I feel like Mason's gonna disagree with that. There's a serial podcast drama that we listen to called We're Alive. Oh. I got him hooked on it. I made him add it to his giant list of podcasts. It is, and it's really good. It's one I listen to regularly. I listen to Nerdist it. picked it up and they're on their last season, which is just depressing. Mm-hmm. But But uh it's pretty cool. It reads out like an audio book, but at the same time, it's okay. like played like radio, you know? Like, like an old radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Radio. It's Seriously. really high quality, though. Like yeah. ru- That was the first Super podcast I really listened to, and it ruined me for other podcasts. Um, <laughs> but it, it, there's this guy who was the super in the building that they end up pulling up in, and he basically just figures out how to fix things, which I'm actually very good at. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a mechanic, but I am good at fixing things. Um, and he just kind of does what he told does what he's told and always pitches in. And he's a trooper. I I'd like probably... Him to the I, I picture myself being more of the uh, Victor role. You'd be the Kelly. Shut up. <laughs> would not. She's a really obnoxious lawyer. <laughs> oh, no, I can totally see that. <laughs> <laughs> I was totally kidding. <laughs> What's that got to do with anything about me? Nothing. That's why it's funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, Vic, but I like Victor because he plays a nice, strong support role like for Saul, mm-hmm. which I think is important in that show mm-hmm. but Saul's kind of like this uh, he's keeps him from going crazy yeah. yeah disturbing news about Saul this last episode stop let's not it's depressing it's not for sure <laughs> you guys just need to listen to this so you oh, know I wonder how many people really of our on our podcast actually listen to that show I don't know but I bet a lot of them are going to listen to it now because mm. it's really good like their their production value is super high it it's so nothing like here. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Can you imagine if we did a show. Like, imagine like, if we tried to have a plot and then just nothing like that. <laughs> and and actual like sound effects. Oh yeah, like super high quality. Yeah, they take time really off well between done. seasons. Yeah, me sitting here reading something in my monotone voice. We open the door and oh sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, and the, the voice <laughs> acting's really really good too. Like I think these people all wanted to get into radio theater or something. It's funny of all the ca- of all the cast characters in that show. I was the Maulers were always I thought like the coolest like idea for mm-hmm. that show. Is the... Yeah, there's this whole. Well, I'm not gonna say it, but you guys should go listen to it. It's yeah, really it's good. really intense. We're alive, and you, there's a, a lot story of, of content. Survival. So <laughs> 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 Yay, yeah, nerds! Yay! Yeah. Uh, um. Oh man! God, I love that podcast. That was a great show. I, I can't even get. I can't I even refocus now. Because Monday's it's my such favorite a good show. day of the week because that's when the new ones come out, and they like skip a week every third episode, and then I'm just sad that week. <laughs> <laughs> they release them in like three part chapters. Okay, uh, three half hour chapters about. I don't know, three, three. Yeah, I know part. Yawning. yeah, I know. Well, we're actually we're not doing too bad. We're doing good. Good. Wait, what were we talking about? Zombies. I don't know. But <laughs> I only know because that's what we came in saying we were going to talk about. <laughs> Anything else on zombies? Brains. I went as a zombie this year. You yes, did. I saw yes. that. You were an awesome. Yeah, zombie. very good zombie then. Uh, oh, yeah. I have a zombie tip. If you're trying to find For clip second, art, I swear to that's God, what I she said. said I, <laughs> I thought you said zombie tit. Oh, that was a missed. There we go. Hey yo. Uh, if you are looking for zombie clip art. Of like a zombie eating someone's face. Don't Google it. Florida pictures happen. Oh. Even if you speci- even if you specify zombie eating clip art, yeah, it pops up. Safe search was on. How did it get past safe search? News. It's awful. That was here. That was while I was working on stuff for the Halloween uh, party, and that popped up, and use, I was like, uh, use uh, a Boolean uh. string to. Yeah, remove. I should have, but I didn't. Mm. Because I haven't used those since high school research projects. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie. So bath salts. Uh, those are fun. First of all, why would you consume something called bath salts? Because I'm sure it's a 
a code to be intentionally yeah, I know, key. but it's but not somehow, anymore. <laughs> somehow made it onto the legal market for a while. Did you hear about the guy that was randomly jumping on the hoods of cars in front of a church this week, locally? No. Oh. I guess he was on bath salts, too. <laughs> but he was just damaging well, there was, 20 cars. Well, I heard there was a, a dude hanging outside a church just like on the north end, like just wearing nothing but a bathrobe and a samurai sword, just like hanging out, like thinking that he was like That's being actually chased by something. That's actually kind of awesome. Like if I came out of a building and there was a guy there dressed like a samurai... But no, it was like a, just his bathrobe, like like what he would have climbed out of the shower with. Oh, that's weird. And a, oh, well, not everyone has kimonos. I so, don't own. Yeah. I don't even own a bathrobe. <laughs> yeah, that's do swanky I. to me. <laughs> However, there is a Tardis one out there that I would love to have. I think they need to come up with a Tardis snuggie. Just putting it out there. Yeah. I would. I would own the shit out of that. Don't know if BBC would allow themselves to be associated with the word snuggy. There is that, yeah. But they, they you have, have a Tardis lunchbox. I mean, how is lunch a snuggy boxes, that yeah. much worse? Well, no, the lunchboxes are practical and useful, and yeah, not a backwards sweatshirt. And they're also sweaty. nostalgic. <laughs> not a backwards sweatshirt. Mm. Yeah. You don't. You don't hear. You don't hear snuggy and nostalgia in the same sentence. And I guess lunchboxes don't have late night television commercials. That's true too. <laughs> oh God, some of the products they have are so funny. But, have you seen the yeah. No-No laser hair removal? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's called No-No. And so I get that, okay, when you see a commercial, every image that is on the commercial has been approved by at least eight people before Pretty it makes much, yeah. it on. Um, and I get that they want to target men with this. It's like a, a, a it's basically like um, that laser hair removal, but you can do it yourself and it's called No-No for some reason. I get that by bringing men in, they double their potential audience for sales. Yes. They're showing the men shaving their chests and not their faces. Mm-hmm. I um, feel like that was a bad decision. Well, the hair on your chest is a lot finer than the hair I on don't, your face. Well, yeah, but I don't think it was a bad What decision. percentage of men shave their chests versus the percentage that shave their face? Well... There is a perception that uh, weightlifters and men who work out and yeah, I know a lot of athletes do, build, like uh, swimmers do that. Yeah. Well, swimmers also have a, go another reason for yeah. it. That there's an aerodynamic or not hydrodyna- vanity. There's hydrodynamics <laughs> yeah. involved there. Yeah, but no, I, I see that as making sense because um, ideally, with actual laser hair removal, mm-hmm. the more often you do it, the less hair grows back, and eventually it goes away. Oh yeah, I guess you wouldn't really want that on your face. Where so like on the chest, legs, arms. Yeah. There would no, be no going between a mustache and a beard if you did right. that on you, your face. If you okay. did it to your face, you couldn't change your facial okay. hair. Okay. And okay, the three guys in this room haven't changed our facial <laughs> that, hair. That's really why I brought it up is because I figured you guys would bring a different least. perspective mm-hmm. to it than but, we had in my house, yeah, which is but, predominantly female. Yeah. So <laughs> minus the cat. And the dog, <laughs> <laughs> and they don't get it. They don't. They can't provide any input that's useful. Yeah. So. so, but yeah. So, like, yeah. if I wished to, I could still the shave hair off. Circus, <laughs> circus, mommy wants to try laser hair removal. <laughs> um, I did put a back massager on him once. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> try it at home, kids. It's funny. Okay. Those like three pronged like vibrating back massagers. Yeah. For when your neck decides to be stupid, I set it down on the dog, and it goes, bzz, and he just flips out and runs across. Uh, uh, it's so, great. Sounds like my daughter around a vacuum cleaner. Oh, she's scared of the vacuum? Yes. Oh, our kitties aren't even scared of the vacuum because it gets used so much. <laughs> oh, man. She's really OCD. I couldn't even imagine that. Yeah, heavy really ran, OCD. Heavy ran up to our... Because it, it doesn't have a foot power, it's actually got a button on top. That oh, you yeah, that's she how it is. She reached up and went, <laughs> and she's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's like, adorable. Like ET when he sees the light. Oh, don't <laughs> say ET. God, I hate ET. But like, I hated the video game. Scares the shit out of me. I saw it when I was four. Terrified me. Have never really gotten over that. Like a friend took me to see the remastered version in theaters. I walked out. Could name wow. a creepy little fucker. He's yeah, he is kind of creepy looking. A bit. With his weird penis neck, like it is not an okay thing. <laughs> yeah, I used to go hide in my turtle sandbox when I was a kid. I'd pull the lid on top of me when my mom would rent that because she loves ET. She thinks he's cuddly. 
Thank you. Yeah, okay. that was the reaction I, that I was, was not necessary. scared of him, but he wasn't cuddly. I would not cuddle that. He's yeah. the least cuddly, cuddly. Yeah, he's thing. a creepy fucker. And one year, I mean, I might want to give a xenomorph a hug first. I, I would know where totally that's going to go. Xenomorph. Yeah, you know what's going to happen. But the ET's got like a hell. rapey vibe yeah. to him. I don't know. Like he just, I don't trust Those him. Long fingers. Yeah, he's just Ouch. creepy as hell. And I, a librarian at my school, you know how elementary school kids do the little costume parades? Yeah. Uh, a librarian was in the library, and she was hunched under a blanket and had an ET mask on. And I walked by, and I didn't know she was there, and I looked, and it just, I, I oh god, I didn't do the rest of the parade that year. Don't mm. like ET. So ET. And zombie raccoons, if they ever join forces... Zombie ETs. I'm just taking myself Space out. <laughs> That's something I'd like to see. Fan art. Zombie ET. Do it. Yes, please give me nightmares and traumatize me for the rest of my life. Zombie ET with raccoon bodies. <laughs> zombie ETs with their zombie raccoon minions. I don't like you guys right now. <laughs> I'm just, oh, God. And all it is nightmares. is him pointing with his glowy finger, like... Which is glowing to sickly green because it's, you know, zombie. Yeah, but Here's like, the thing. I take melatonin at night, attack. which gives you really vivid dreams, which means I'm probably going to be seeing this in my sleep tonight. Yay. So fuck you guys. Halloween. <laughs> Good Halloween dreams. Yay. This uh. is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 I was at a bar on Halloween once, and there was a guy dressed as Jack Skeleton with stilts. He was walking on stilts. Nice. So it was like full to scale, like long, lanky. It was so cool. It was the coolest costume I think I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, I, 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 no, I took it off my phone. I have a picture of it on my computer. Uh, there was, I saw a girl uh, dressed up as Sally, and she had one of her arms her, one of her arms had been amputated so Aww. she actually had it so like the arm was falling off and she could sew it back that's on like perfect. she did after she jumped no that, no she did it. that's awesome i said it's adorable oh, oh adorable. i, I said, said horrible. it was horrible yeah. i was like i heard horrible yeah i said it well if i said horrible well, maybe i'll have to go back and listen but i'm pretty <laughs> sure i said adorable Making okay dad himself <laughs> <laughs> okay cuz i i was like you know, she was like, you know, she wasn't like trying to hide her disability. She was, you know, using it as part of the costume. That's a and great idea. It was also phenomenally done. Like, it was amazing. Like, the dress was patchwork. That's and, cool. That is so yeah. cool. And, like, you know, she did it so, like, the lip stitching was actually raised makeup and oh, stuff. Wow. It was full on dedication. Full on awesome dedication that to is it. Cool. It was amazing. All right. Let's wrap this show up. All right. <laughs> you don't like our derail? No, I actually got to get going soon oh, because I got to pick up some stuff at the store on the way home. Uh-huh. And all things closed. That's true. I'll just I have a work life outside morning, my huh? podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys have work in the morning. I don't have to work tomorrow. Uh, what were you saying, Nikki? I said, I'm Dustin. I have a life outside my podcast. Mer, mer, mer. So do you. Yeah, it's not my podcast. I'm just lucky enough to get a sit on it. Yeah, till like December. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Do I get an email? Be a perma host by that point. Do I get an email? Uh, 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 Can uh, I start bugging you about email? Uh, uh, Is that, have uh, I been sitting in long enough to bug I, you I about think you email? Should, I, I'm surprised you didn't bug him last week. I almost did, but it was my first time. That's what she said. I did it myself. <laughs> 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 Can you? That's what she said. Your own comment is that. I I don't think you should. Yeah. It's just it, that's a that's a, that's what she said. Faux pas. That's what she said. <laughs> I didn't know this existed. I think they do now. <laughs> <laughs> just the one. Just the one. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki uh, rules. <laughs> She's making up faux pas. I'm so Nikki good at committing ones. faux pas that I invent them. <laughs> so I need an email. Uh, okay. And then you can email me at Nikki at NerdEffect.com. <laughs> I will email you from Mason at NerdEffect.com Aww. And I'll probably send you at least a test email From Dustin at NerdEffect.com Yeah just And then Mike will probably send, send you cat, cat pictures, pictures Yeah yes, <laughs> Mike at NerdEffect.com I'll you know forward you doing. an email that Angie's mom sent me that's just cat pictures It's pretty oh awesome God. It'll make <laughs> your day <laughs> uh, Alright let's pull this thing together let's See if Dustin can Wrap this thing up clean. That's what she like said. a good zombie kill. Ah. Let's right, go on the table. Plans for Halloween? Anything? Uh, double tap. Um, 
No, I'm, I'm in. I don't have any money for this Halloween. Halloween? Um, I have no idea. I'll probably do something. I don't know what. Halloween? We're handing out candy to trick-or-treaters and getting one of those wicked sweet pumpkin-shaped Papa Murphy's pizzas. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> we one. got two trick-or-treaters last year. I'm hoping for six. You yeah, should hand out pizza I would, slices. I would say yeah. just still hold up for two. That way you get the candy. Well, we I don't want the candy. I'm trying then to bring me the candy. Yeah. yeah. Well, we have we have fruit snacks right now. They're Never mind. Good. No, they're pretty good. Um, but uh, I want chocolate. We, we we had only lived in our condo for a month last Halloween, so oh. we know people now. So I'm thinking we'll have more kids. Probably. Yeah. I will be uh, doing two things. Probably I might be out trick or treating with my bat girl. Uh, my bat gold, my bat girl daughter. You should put up a picture on. The... I'll put up a picture on the post. Yes, you'll see. It. It's pretty adorable. It's adorable. It's a it's a custom made one that was made on Etsy. Oh, nice! So, uh, so cute. <laughs> it's pretty cute. It's got a little tutu and. So if you're not traveling around, you got to come by my place. Depends on where we go. I don't know yeah. what uh, I don't know what the plans are because we also got a nephew named Julian. He's four and a half, and he likes to trick or treat too. So we might. Be at Mima, is also known as Grandma. Okay. Uh, if anybody's got a dog that they're dressing around. up, I was going to make dog treats so people could bring their dogs trick-or-treating. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to do it, though. Yeah, I, that would be interesting, though. Maybe yeah. th- what, what, once I, what, say one, Once I actually get my Welsh Corgi, oh. I will dress it up as Ayn from Cowboy Bebop. Oh. So of course, no, it's no actual, costume. You'll be dressed it, up. <laughs> actually, its name was gonna be Ein because I like Cowboy Bebop and the character Ein that much. Yeah. So, <clears throat> Corkies are smart. And Mason too. will dress up as Faye. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll dress up as Faye Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I don't object to crossplay. I what's the word? Lovely for? Oh yeah, I don't have the body for Faye. Yeah, that would make either. it better though. No, we really. Don't. <laughs> Plus on Halloween, leave the goatee. Too. Plus on the uh, yeah. face costume on Halloween. No, that would be cold. I do not understand slutty Halloween costumes. October is cold. Put on clothes, ladies. Yeah, Seriously? but usually those costumes are intended to go out to the bars where it's like eighty degrees at the body number of people at the Halloween party this weekend that were in skimpy. Lady costumes, like the one that dressed like a giant loofah, standing outside. That's yeah. kind of hilarious. Though. I saw her for all of thirty <laughs> seconds. I'm pretty sure she left after that. No, she's I just, up by the stage. Random people I didn't know asked to take their picture with me in my costume, which is really cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, he was a doom bot. I yes. was. I saw the pictures. It was cool. I mean, really happy. The humans are dead. <gasps> I was like, actually okay. My thing about like the like slutty Halloween costumes, I do rag on them occasionally because I think they're it's overblown at this point. And the fact that like no. women <laughs> don't have options that are just yeah. Like if you want to make it yourself, cool. But if you don't want to mm-hmm. make it yourself as a woman, you don't have an option not to have. You can be slutty this, slutty that, yeah. slutty the other. But the other and, thing is that they would stop Wonder selling Woman. them if people stopped buying them. Yeah. The reason that they're still popular is because people still use them. Uh, well, especially, if you're, especially if you're a young 20-something. Okay, okay. Oh, let me finish. Drunk. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I, I just I think that like they should give women who uh, don't want to wear the slutty Halloween costumes, either don't have the time or the ability to mm-hmm. make their own, an option. Mm-hmm. However, I don't think that they should stop making them because if you wish to wear them, I don't think you should be stopped from wearing them. And I also don't think that there's, you know, if, you know, cause like if you got it, flaunt it. Cause like if I had it, I'd flaunt it. Yeah. I've <laughs> um, never had it and I like it, but I don't yeah. get those. I see as, as a girl who likes girls, it annoys me on two levels. Because on the one hand, I would rather see somebody in like a full Victorian dress. That's hotter than the slutty nurse costume is any day of the week because it's not slutty. Cosplayers. Yeah. Well, look, the thing is like cosplayers to me are in a completely different category because like I've seen cosplayers dressed up as like Mad Moxie or Wonder Girl. Well, and you're dressing like a character who's drawn to look that way. That's a different thing than, oh, I'm going to be a nurse. No nurse would wear that outfit. Right. But but part of it is... a nurse from a video game or... Or a... uh, Say nurses from video games. Like, I've seen people dressed up as the nurses from... Horror oh game. yeah! Uh, oh, Silent I've Hill. seen those. Silent Hill. Yeah. I did a zombie walk, and there was a Creepy. Silent Hill nurse. That was terrifying. Um, she I mean, had I mean, syringes, even like yeah. Rollins. Mm-hmm. I've I've seen like oh, I've seen I'd love wi- to go as Pyramid Head sometime. <laughs> I've seen I've cool. seen people dress like women dress up as the nurses from mm-hmm. Silent Hill. 
Yeah, no, thanks. Scary as hell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Slutty, but still scary as hell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, you know, cosplayers, when you're, it's, it's partially it's the dedication to the character. And I don't care, like, when it comes to cosplay, like, you know, yeah, okay, Jesse Negri's hot. I, but, like, she can pull off doing Mad Moxie. And I actually appreciate the fact that she does a really good rendition of Mad Moxie more than she's hot as Mad Moxie. But that's, that's not that's not Halloween costumes. Right. Like the Halloween costumes, you go to any of the Halloween stores and it's like rows and rows of like eighteen variations on mini skirts and thigh high socks. And if I have to see one more picture of a slutty cave girl, I swear to God, I'm gonna there smack was a, a bitch. There's a couple of those like, at the party. At least one I saw. Yeah, slutty no. cave girls, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I've. It's Did they have the heavier brow ridges and the heavier jaw no. lines? No, like, no, yeah. No, this was See, like, oh. they're not realistic. The slutty oh. costumes instantly oh lose realistic crap. That would be an amazing costume. That, that would be pretty cool. Take like really the slutty body, costume and then do like, like caveman face. Neanderthal face. That somebody, if somebody did that, I would oh high five them. Like, just that like would just an, be un- awesome. A natural amount of body hair. And <laughs> yeah, no. If you took the slutty costume and then modified it to be real, that would be cool. Like, they'd have to they'd have to act it out too. Oh, by the way, for those of you of, uh, for those of you like AMH means anatomically modern human. That was approximately forty thousand years ago. Um, <laughs> they're not what we look like nowadays. Yeah, mm. my brother has the uh, overhanging brow. Okay. Yeah, he. I, we do impressions of each other. Uh, this is me. You, you, I push down on my forehead, and it makes my brow look like his. And then he'll push up on his to be me. Oh, okay. Like the guy from Vampire Diaries. <laughs> yeah. He plays like Stefan. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never watched that. The dude's hideous. <laughs> Everybody um, thinks he's so, handsome as shit, but I think the dude's just got. My brother gets lots I've, of ladies. He's got a, forehead he's got a crack really, really wonderful girlfriend just, now who's in Spain, which is sad, but. I say I've never seen Vampire yeah. Diaries, but I know they used a Birthday Massacre song in one of their episodes. Probably. So I was happy for Birthday Massacre. Go Canada! It's weird that show's kind of it shows iffy. It's got its moments, but then it just and then like, it's Twilight like, the rest of the time. I've seen it's the like promo Twilight, images. That was with enough like to keep me away. Death and destruction and people's heads getting ripped off, and you're just like, oh, that's cool. And then it's like, I'm so alone. I uh, let's not talk about it. It's. I hear they're, they're going to gonna reboot Charmed. Really? Yeah. That ought to be interesting. No. Yeah, it's happening. No. CBS is doing I it. I will <laughs> go throw uh. my cat, Zeus, at them to destroy the set. <laughs> That's awful. They're doing I loved a, Charmed. You can't, reimagining I hate it Charmed. when they do that. Write a new damn show. <laughs> Stop. No, Charmed was great. Why, Just send why a do they need to do that? email to CBS <laughs> Uh, why are you doing this? <laughs> why? Why do they need to revisit it? It was great. You know, you should revisit actually, it. What ended. <laughs> what, actually, what I what I would like to see sometime in like a case like that is okay. The show ended. What Charmed ended like what ten, ten years, years ago? Yeah, two thousand six. Yeah. Okay. So okay, two thousand six. So Se- uh, seven years. Seven ago. years ago. Actually, try to get the original actors and actresses back. Yeah, have like an updated. Have like an updated show where it's been this long. If you did, this happen, is where they are now. I would watch that. Yeah. Or even if they did, like they're a, not going to do that. Even if they did like a, which they could. Most Milano is still smoking hot. So even if they did like a one-off like TV movie, like a two-hour episode. Yeah, just an update. That would be cool. I know a lot of people cool that would too. be stoked about that, but I don't know why this obsession that we have now of revisiting things that were good the way they were. Why part can't of it, people write their own crap? Part of it is is the fact that nerds love their nostalgia. Yeah, but and, they have that. There's Netflix. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> they, they want to try to make more new money off of it, essentially. Yeah, and I guess that some, some serialized the, reruns don't make quite the money that a new, uh, new show new does now. Do, yeah. But, yeah. But I agree that sometimes, they, I mean, they do it too much. They do. It's mm. It wouldn't bug me if it was once in a while and if they did them well when they do them. Yeah. Like, we were waiting for some good show to come on. I don't remember what it was, and we were watching, like, the last five minutes of Hawaii Five-0 on CBS or whatever the fuck it's on. That was never a good show, though. No, it wasn't, but <laughs> for some reason, they remade it, and they didn't do it any better than it was the first time around. <laughs> but it's still on. Yeah. I know that show Ironside was a remake of an original series, too, and it lasted mm-hmm. for, like, three episodes before they canceled it. Yeah. What I'm worried about now is Sleepy Hollow. I, you know, I heard this doing really good. I, and it doing went a back to Dracula. I hate how much I love that show. It's so stupid. The premise is just fucking stupid, but it's done so 
well. Yeah. Like, the production's really good. The acting's really good. The plot is the most stupid thing. He wakes up in modern times and needs to stop the apocalypse. Yeah. Didn't they do that same thing with uh, Sherlock, too, at one yeah, point? Yeah, I'm sure they did. Well, the, yeah, the new did. Sherlock Oh, oh the new modern. one. I like that the one. The animated series was like that. Oh, the animated oh. series. Yeah, they did. That's right. So oh, then, God. That was I really cool. Yeah, something. that was really cool. Yeah, say, but Watson yeah, but, was a robot. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. That oh. was <laughs> fucking rad. That was a great joke. It's about that ridiculous, but so really zombies. well made. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sure, sure, There's yeah, sure, uh, zombies in um, <laughs> Sleepy Hollow. No, there is. There's there a zombie. Are. It's uh, played by uh, Harold from Harold and Kumar. Yeah. I don't know the actor's name. Oh. John Cho. Yeah, his head gets snapped back, and then it yeah, comes up, and his neck looks weird, and he... Yeah, kills people, and it's actually kind of creepy. Yeah, it's like, really creepy. Weird, especially like when he has like neck. his collared shirt on. Over oh yeah, and it, it pushes up his neck, neck folds. Yeah, it's yeah. super creepy because his head gets snapped back, so his neck gets uh, stretched out. Right. And when he comes back to life, he wakes up with his head upside down, and then the monster that brings him back to life like snaps his head back, so his neck like wrinkles like an accordion. It's super creepy. <laughs> it's awesome. You should watch it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys think that's on Hulu? I don't know if it is or not. We've no, been, this is a new season. They it's keep on, playing it's reruns. On Hulu, yeah, but yeah, all of a sudden they they got four episodes in reruns. I I have a bad. They've picked it up for a second season already. Yeah. Really? Yeah, and she told me she watches all those celebrity gossip crap. And, and shows. they're already showing reruns of it. Yeah, I think it's just because with sports happening. Oh, right, World Series and everything. Yeah, yeah okay. we're missing out on a lot. <laughs> so. Yeah. We can go. It's okay, Dustin. You look really like. <laughs> I need to go to the store, you guys. I do. It's gonna close in like twenty-five minutes. Okay. Uh, uh, but anyway, we hope you enjoyed our zombie show. That was maybe about forty-five minutes of actual zombie talk. That's all, folks. Would have been more if you would have emailed us. Yeah, it's your fault, really. Yeah, I'm gonna pawn it off on the pawn it off on the listeners. Jerks. No, okay. I can't. They're not I here to. You. No, they're not here to argue. It's okay. They're going to listen to it anyway. Oh, so you're telling me this that, is at the end. So what you're telling. So, well, so we'll take a new approach. We'll uh, be aggressive with the audience at the end of the show once can, they've already listened to all the rest. Yeah, of it. yeah. so we'll just lose them for the next podcast. Yeah, yeah. That works. or we'll they'll give feel them bad to emails. you know email in and bitch about. And yes, then we'll, we'll read that. Yeah. Feedback at flawlessplan. Tell us how much you hate us. I don't have an email. Jerks. I'm not getting the hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> we'll forward it on to Nikki. Oh, man. Even though I'm sure she's like the one positive person. <laughs> Nikki got her first uh, open review. I haven't even gotten an open review yet, but... I got an open review. Well, from at the party. Oh, yeah. The guy that walked up and said that he liked me. That was uh, my buddy. He said that he listens to the show every... I had no idea who he was even listening to. Uh, 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 Jeff. Oh, okay. Jeff, you kind of made my day. Amy and Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Said that he liked the Nikki as a new addition to the show. Okay, cool. So he said she should be a permanent host. Miss Helen said she was going to email in because she also enjoyed me. I talked to her on Skype the other day, but apparently all she could do is just say that she was going to bust who? Bowers? And then he yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But that's okay. It's, it's an acceptable email because yeah. it was a, a violence against Bowers. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> It's, it's okay. in the Constitution. They should From look it up. Germany, she's going to do that. Yeah, so that's, it's in the Constitution. Cap me because I'm defending him too. Here, come on. I, she didn't say anything about capping you, so I think you're safe. <laughs> we miss you, Helen. Mike's we one of those shoot, Bowers, rights Bowers rights activists. We're useful. Bowers rights activists. Bowers pro Bowers. A bra. BS- bra. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was going to say BSPCA, but that's oh. good too. <laughs> yeah, he offers Bowers support. He's oh, ear- that's what she said. Do you have irritable Bauer syndrome? <laughs> <laughs> For the Night and Effect podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ended on the poop joke. Okay. <laughs> I am Dustin Vancouver, <laughs> and I was joined by my buddies. Michael Morgan. And Mason Ireland. And Nikki Brains Prindle. Have a safe Halloween, good people. And uh, for those about to nerd, we salute you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs>